<laughs> Yo, dude, Bobs. I was watching a YouTube video. Guess what I did? What'd you do? Click the like button. Oh, that's why these videos have been doing so well. Thanks to VOD Gang. What are you, what are you even going to do about it, huh? What are you even going to do about it? Uh, you know what I will do? What's that? I will ask everyone watching live right now to encourage VOD Gang to press the like button. What up, VOD Gang? We're back with another pod. This one's going to be a little random, a little all over the place, but it's going to be good ones. Thank yeah, nothing wrong with in. that. Thank you for tuning yes, in. Uh... James coming in, gifting a subby. All you guys watching live, thank you for the subos. Let's get into it. First of all, this virtual cop music is clapping. It's really good, right? We just watched um, Lethal Weapon, the yeah. first one, on the Patreon Yeah, for the commentary, full movie commentary track. Mel Gibson, Danny Glover. Dude, the music is banging in that. Yo, Eric Clapton is butt-fucking a bass guitar in that the entire time. It is pretty nice. I guess I, guess I should say it's it's clapping. It's it's, oh, it's, it's more clapping. than clapping. It, that's, it's that, clapping. That music's definitely clapped to yeah. the cheeks. It was a good movie, though. Uh, yeah. I've never seen Lethal Weapon. Me neither. Never seen any of them. Except... I didn't realize how crazy Mel Gibson was. So yeah. Dead. Wanted to have Louie on that one, but unfortunately he, he's, he's dealing with some stuff, but he will be back. Yes. Um, but yeah, he... He wanted to see that one because he knows the first scene has boobs in it. Oh, yeah. There was a little, like, a nostalgic boner going on with you that entire time. Yeah. But maybe next. I'm sure. Well, wait. There's, like, four, five, six, seven of them. Uh, I think there's four total right now, and I think they're bunch. redoing the fifth. Yeah. A bunch yeah. of them. Yo, you guys are insane. You guys are you guys are crazy. Oh, my God. Look at these crazy people. Frank Stallone, you're crazy, my friend. Yo, you're Frank. Crazy. How you doing? Ten gifted subs. Atomics is a new Predator movie. Oh yeah, the trailer. It's like got um, indigenous people representation. Really? Yeah, and I guess like oh, they're shit. gonna dub it in full Comanche. It's never Whoa. been done before. Oh uh, yeah, I think we saw pictures of that. Remember we, we clicked yeah. through it and watched the whole thing. But yo, Frankie, thank you again. All you guys live are good. You guys go going nuts with these subos. Yeah. Appreciate you guys, dude. Yo, it's the week of Summer Games Fest. Is there any gamers out there can put some energy out there? Marvel. <laughs> Marvel Capcom, you know, maybe. Maybe a little Marvel Capcom, you know, maybe a little Marvel Capcom return. You know? Probably not, but, you know, maybe a little Chrono Trigger, but probably not. But, you know, maybe a little, yeah, Ape Escape, probably not. Ooh, but, Ape know. Escape, that's not happening. Yeah, ooh, Hideo Kojima comes down and he goes, Ape Escape! Stop. Cartwheel and... <laughs> with a little monkey on. hat with a little alarm on it? <laughs> yeah. That'd be great. That'd be sick, dude. Um, This is it. This is the big week, dude. This is... The new E3 this Thursday yeah. at, I think, 11 a.m. We will be live. That's Pacific. on Thursday. This Thursday. This Thursday, dude. Don't dude, miss it. Dude, I'm ready. It. Don't miss I'm it. I'm ready, man. You know we're coming in with the Blazers, and you know it's going to be hype, dude. Yeah, we have to, man. Um, coming off the uh, weekend here, your boys had a good time. Uh, Kenny was in the house. We did a retro racing game stream with old Kenny. And then we uh, we hit up a, a barcade. It was really cool. It was uh, Kenny kind of had the plug on a cool place to go hang out afterwards. I'm glad we fucking took him up on it because that place is cool. After listening to all this uh, Sega Rally music, he's like, "Yo, you guys want to hit up an arcade?" I was like, "Dude, when's the last time we went to a barcade?" Yeah, but super cool. Um, dude, there was like some pro level uh, Street Fighter players up in there. Yeah, I got to meet Mike Ross and hang out with Uncle Valle. He was cool. Valle, that was very, very cool. Yo, we met Valle. Yeah. We got to we got to meet him. I know he had a he had a spot uh, way down there over in uh, Santa Ana. He had an esports arena, but he's a Evo legend. Yeah, I, he's uh, been in there several million different times. He's trained some of the best American West Coasters. He's good stuff and a really really cool dude. Super cool. We got to watch these guys run Street Fighter Third Strike sets against each other, and it was it was scary. And it was it was pretty cool. Yeah. I also I, I did a one match against Kenny, and I got a parry on him, mm -hmm. and I made him go. <gasps> but then he quickly <clears throat> destroyed me. But at least I made him go. <gasps> so that was pretty cool. That was my claim to fame for going out to the barcade. Yeah. Did I plug Jabuva? We kind of did. Kenny tried for us. He's like, "Yo, this is Jabuti show. They're fucking cool. They do a Jabuvo." And he's like. Cool. Okay. I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was a little fighting game tournament. He's like, okay. Bufo? A jabu a buja, huh? Bufo? A jabu Never mind. Uh, Never mind. A bufo. Never mind. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry about it. Alright? It's fine. It's a big buvo, alright? Yeah. Big, it's a big buvo. Um, yo, Dave Archives in the chat. What up, dude? Yeah, what up, Dave? How you doing, man? 
I love the subs. Badge next to the name. Looking good. His loss. You wouldn't want him in our tournament, guys. He'd just scrub the floor with you. This is a com It'll be a community. No one will have a chance if he's well, in there. Well, you know what? If we put up, uh, you know, our best Smash player, I think we could do it. I don't know if he's Smash. No. We did Third Strike, though. I, I, I don't know about Third Strike. I think that's it'd be a, game that's over. A different, that's a different piece. Sir. Really cool, though. It was a very nice barcade with very nice sit-down Japanese machines. Yeah, they have the Astro City head-to-head -head yeah. Japanese cabs that are pristine condition. I always it wanted is to like try the, that. It's the most uh, fighting game community-themed bar I've ever been to in my life. It was pretty cool. Yeah, super fun hanging with Kenny, getting some drinks. Um, I remember I went to Mike Ross and Sir. said, what do you want? And I was like, well, I had the Hadouken cocktail mm -hmm. and it had tahine in it. And I didn't read that part. It was a, it wasn't my thing, but it was good. Yeah. Yeah. But Sir. at the end of it, you're drinking all that tahine. You're like, <laughs> you know what I mean? It's a little spicy. It can kind of get in the molars. So I was like, yo, can I get something that's a little bit easier drinking? But I want to try one of the specialty Sir. cocktails. Oh, yeah. And, uh. Tahin. Yeah, Tahin debuff. I had a debuff. Not Taurine, Tahin. No, not Taurine. Ta Tajin. There you go. Tajin. Tajin. Sir. There you go. Yeah, if you don't want to speak Espanol, then yeah, Tajin. 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 Um, but they put a little spice in that cocktail for the Hadouken because it, you know, it's got packs a, a pack of punch. Packs a quarter circle forward punch. So I, he's like, well, what do you like usually? And I was like, I usually go for like, I don't know, vodka sound kind of something easy with vodka. He's like, you can get the Princess Peach. Ooh, I had that. And I was like, I just feel, I don't know, going to a bar and going, Hey there, buddy, let me get that Princess Peach. Are you one of them fighting boys? So I was like, <laughs> let me get that Princess Peach. He's like, one Princess Peach for the man. Actually, I'll take two. Two Princess Peaches for the man and his wife. Yo, that shit was good. I love my Princess Peach. I ordered good. my Princess Peach with pride. It was good. When I saw my, my girl up on the on the on the first thing on the menu, I'm like, I don't even have to look at the rest. The peach. Give me was the in peach, the house. baby. Peach was in the house, dude. It was meant to be, and it was delicious. What is Tajin? Yeah. Spicy salt goes around the rim. Yeah. Like a margarita. Kind of. Yeah, if you ever had like uh, Mexican candy and it has that like um, spicy kind of citrusy thing, it's kind of like that, but as a seasoning. I almost feel like, Chad, if I pulled it up, you'd be like, oh, I see. Yeah, yeah, you just I didn't know how to it. say it. I've seen that before. Oh, I've been calling it Tajin the entire time. Oh! Te oh! Tajin. Yeah, the you Kalisto guys, seasoning. You guys have seen it before. Ah! Oh, that right there. Called Limon and Lemon. That right there. Yo, cannon fodder in the loft. Thank you, dudes, for going Yo, in. Yo, look at all these subs, man. Appreciate you guys. Appreciate everybody. Happy the uh, uh, gamer month. Mm -hmm. Happy Pride month. This is, uh, this is a big week, dude. So excited. Let's go. PC Tech in the house drop. Biddy's what up? PC Tech got his factor meals today. Oh wow! Oh wow! Yo, I think ours is gonna schedule. Ours is on the way. I think ours is scheduled to show up within today or tomorrow. Dude, so. I, I haven't eaten. I was waiting to eat. Let's go. Yo, we're gonna be eating, dude. We're, we're gonna, gonna have be, an eating stream. We're gonna be eating. Let me go ahead and see. Especially point factor if you want to get in on those hot uh, meals. Yeah, let me see. We have our factor uh, tracker here, and uh... yo, Woo! we hit our goal. Holy dude. crap! Thank you guys. The goal has been raised. Yo, that's actually really cool. Man. To 75, can we do it? Oh my gosh. Is it possible? If you want to start eating healthy and uh, very conveniently to uh, do exclamation point factor, click the link and use that promo code. Yeah, dude. Oh my gosh. Holy smokes. That's pretty that's cool very to see. Uh, that's pretty see. That's pretty cool to see you guys destroy our uh, goal there. Thank you guys, dude. Nice. We're getting my muck bang in with you. PC <laughs> Texas is good stuff. Hey. Hell yes, man. It's a man that knows his food, too. Hell yes, dude. Um, thank you guys, all the subs, and of course, MGS coming in with a tier three. The man, the myth, the legend. The big patron himself, my friend, personal friend. Miss you, dude. That's my friend. How you doing, brother? That's my friend. 88 months! Yo, Sob, we've dude. been doing this for 88 months! Sob, dude. Holy crap, man. How's it going, dude? Oh, let me see here. I, I hear got a... double music going. Yeah, I thought I hear a... <laughs> got double music going. Double music still going. Double music still going. Uh, Mukbanging? While we, uh, you want us to mukbang? Triple double music. Um, sorry about that. Miss you guys. Hell yes, MGS. Doing yes. good, man. Doing good. This is the big week. You know what I mean? Can't wait for that E3 Summer Game Fest. Basically, reveals yeah. that state of play really uh, reshaped my thinking of uh, Summer Games Fest. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm now I 
You know what? I was kind of on the fence about Street Fighter 6. I, 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 we, we talked about this the other day where we like, it, we feel like it looks too similar to 5. And we looked at the side by side, and I was like, I couldn't be more wrong. It's it makes uh, me really looking forward to it. It's always interesting when you see them side by side. This always happens to me, though, when you look at the comparison side by side. It's yeah. like, oh, shit. It ain't even close at all. And uh, I think you had the same sentiment. I think you expressed this to me was you, you didn't really see the difference between 4 and 5. And then 5 and 6, you felt the same way. But I think they look so different. And I think it's going to be good. Let me get, like, that HD. You know what I mean? Where's the HD? I've seen them... I was starting to tweet some more gameplay. They're definitely bringing the street back into Street Fighter for sure. Street back in Street Fighter, dude. The music was claptastic in it too. This was a new thing they put up, right? Yeah, this is how they reintroduced the. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, when you see these side by side chat, check what? this out. Check this out. Check this out, dude. Yeah, man. When you look at the oh, the factor thing's blocking the. When you look at the old, look at Chun Li. She's beautiful. With it's her a promo on her face. code. Yeah, she's beautiful. Yo, when you see them side by side, though. Yo, wow, the Giga Whoa. Chat version of Ryu. I was like, actually, yeah, it looks different. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, it just looks exactly the same. Wait a minute. No, it used to look like Fortnite. Yeah, yeah. It used to look more like Toy Soldiers. I forgot about that. Yeah. Giga Chat. Yeah, they're definitely going Giga Chat with Ryu, which I'm not, I'm, I'm not opposed. It looks dope, though, man. It's got me excited. It's that RE engine. Yeah. You know what it I mean? looks good, man. And they... That's not scary. only is it going real street for Street Fighter, but it's very third strikey. From like, what I've seen. Damn, dude. <laughs> yeah. So this looks like Fortnite Fighter. Yeah. I hope... You know, I still love the stylization of stuff. I hope they don't go super hyper real, like... Even moving forward, you know, they still I have don't enough. Think so I think they're going with the the very uh, not very cartoonish because there's like Ryu looks cartoonish in his own way, but with like realistic physics with the muscle, uh, you know, striation. Yeah, they all gotta that. have animation and muscles that are like stretched. You know, it can't just get too real. But did her butt get bigger? Uh, thighs definitely. The thighs got like twice as big. Whoa. Ryu looks like the Hulk, and guess what? He's only like 5'9". <laughs> hey, short king's up there. Isn't that insane? Let me put nice. this air conditioner on it. It's hot down here, boy. Frog legs, yeah. Yo, all the technique stuff in here, super sick. I'm stoked for this, man. And, uh, yeah, they kind of had their entire roster leaked. Yeah, I think Capcom's had a rough uh, week uh, post uh, State of Play when basically everything that they've been trying to keep secret got leaked yeah. on Twitter. Yeah, That sucks for them. I'm sure that's uh, it's pretty shitty, especially for a company that, you know, fighting games, it's like you rely on the hype of the new character yeah, the, to push your product. Yeah, with fighting games, it's like you carry the hype to launch by releasing a few new characters at a time, and that's kind of how you keep it going. Yeah. So yeah, many and Capcom's leaks. has a showcase very soon. Hopefully they acknowledge the leaks. Cause... Yeah, their showcase on the 13th. I saw that. This is pretty awkward, uh, you know, having all this information out there and, uh, and not talk about it. Caught with your pants down pretty hard. You yeah. know what I mean? Pretty bad. Someone uh, clicked a link when they weren't supposed to click a link. Yeah, I'm like, what's going on over at, uh, you know, Capcom headquarters on that one? Yeah, don't open strange emails, people. It's all scam. Ooh, love how you show that. That's a pretty one. Damn, that's beautiful. That God takes damn. me back. The, Whoa, nothing shit, nothing has great. ever looked better than these drawings here and sprites. It's just peak art. Yeah. The parry system's back. Her butt jiggles realistically. But think of the nude mods people will put on their PC. Oh, come on, you degenerate coomers. Can you keep it in your <laughs> pants for one day? <laughs> Yippee for me. A PC ah. player. I'll run my own nude Ryu mods. No one needs to see Ryu's penis. Sorry. I want to see that dick. Oof. I want to see that dick throwing a hot dookin. Sheesh. Send her up. See you later. Oh, my God. Lady. Dude. <laughs> yeah, man. I mean, it's Street Fighter. I got to play it a little bit before I give up eventually because I get my ass beat. Yep. Um, but in it for the artwork. That's what I'm always in it for when it comes to Street Fighter. And the culture. Oh my god, look at fucking... That's four to, four. Five, four to six. 
Wow, it's even more uh, Fortnite-y. I think the faces in 4 were kind of stupid. Yeah, his face is like... Ryu doesn't look like Ryu at all. But I think 4 kind of holds up in its own unique kind of art style. Yeah, that ink. Yeah. Actually, he looks pretty sick. Different angles. I like 4. <laughs> I, I think 4 kind of gets this weird slack, but 4 is good. The Fuerte? Yeah, El Fuerte. With the Fuerte? Bring, tortilla! Yeah, bring back the Fuerte, huh? Where's the Tortilla? They're going to bring back the Fuerte. That heat, boy. Yeah. That heat, that she. And uh, then Resident Evil 4 remake, that's going to be fucking killer. The new uh, Dead Space spinoff is going to be nice. So excited, man. So been excited. some good releases. I can't wait for Summer Game Fest. So excited. Uh, we're going to wait Sunday for the, the Bethesda Xbox. We're going to wait and do probably... We'll do just, it on the following day. Same thing with Capcom. We'll probably just stream it on our podcast on Tuesday and just yeah. show it off, you know. Yeah. Um, but Summer Games Fest, we're there, dude. Be there with us. Bring, ring in the hype, dude. It's basically the Super Bowl for video games of the year. Yeah, because E3 is uh, defunct this year. They said they'd come back next year. Eh. Uh, but who knows? But who knows? Um... Oh, yeah. Also, thank you guys for watching the Djibouti dub, uh, the brand new uh, Djibouti dub that went up. Oh, this is big. Exclamation point um, dub if you want to watch the new dub. I just appreciate you guys watching and sharing it. Um, this is very big, actually. You know, it's been a while with the dubs, and it's it's been really cool to put up a new one and to uh, just bring back the, the fun of making them. I'm not worried about a deadline. I'm just worried about making it, having fun and making it funny at this point. Yes. Sometimes a deadline, you know, you're just squeezing it out to get it out. I was like, I want to make sure it's it's worthy. So it's been really cool to see that jump up over the week. It was at 200,000 views, and I was like, oh, that's pretty cool. Like, I don't really, uh, I'm not, like, chasing views. Yeah. But I clicked it expecting to see, like, 80, maybe 60, maybe 50, 60, 70, 80K. And to see 200 absolutely blew my mind because that hasn't happened in a long time for a Djibouti dub. So it's pretty cool to see that. And I think the fan base really liked it because the like button is pretty smashed on that one. I know it sounds kind of uh, YouTuber-y, but it's usually a good indicator that people liked it. And uh, people watched all the way through. It's really cool to see uh, people take to it. So yeah. thank you guys. Make sure you guys go and give the uh, Blue Tiger a watch. It's very old school. Yeah. Feels very much like watching a video I would make back in like 20, 2009. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's it's definitely old school. But I was inspired by how much people were enjoying it, and especially enjoying this man here. As we all should. Uh, the Fupa King. Give it up for the Fupa King. God bless him. I want to be this guy one day, dude. I Like, when I'm retired, this is this is me at peak retirement, dude. Jay Burger, man. He's, dude, that guy's awesome. Um, but I was inspired by that, and I... I'm going through this. Uh, oh, what's this? I'm going through this this phase <laughs> what the right hell now. Is this? Going through this phase right now. Where I'm very much into the old Street Fighters and the Third Strikes, and it's led me to. I'm working on an art project. Hopefully, you guys will see soon. But I've been inspired by uh, retro artwork, and I went down some tutorials over a few weekends and learned how to make a little bit of sprite work. So I wanted to um, work on uh, a new T-shirt <laughs> design with this this fellow here. You gotta so go fast. I've been making him into uh, a little bit of a design that's a little work in progress, but this is my first attempt into, uh, no, it's not an NFT. <laughs> All right, guys, it's new someone. NFT, and like you someone. can customize the shirt, the pants, and the blue tiger color. I knew someone would say that, but uh, no, it's not an NFT, but I'm, I'm learning how to do sprite artwork, and it's actually not too difficult from what I know in Photoshop. There's yeah. a, a few settings I didn't know were in Photoshop, and you can just draw it, and it's just like, drawing it's yeah. pretty sick yeah, so, yeah um now i'm like dude i'm like into the uh i'm into the sprite Ju work. justin do made this them. pixel art himself <laughs> like that's pretty fucking cool man so i might do like a little title or something here and throw this on a shirt and call that one good to go i want to wear the fupa king it's almost like a press start it's like the start screen yeah. of this video game yeah hey you want to race Wanna fucking go? Hey pussy. Hey pussy. Wanna race? On my way pussy to boy. on my way to steal your girl. Can I keep up? Screenshot taken. It's my NFT now. Um, but really fun actually making. Sprite I would like this on a gray stuff. shirt. Like I like. I actually think this color with this scheme is actually pretty nice. Yeah. Wanna fucking race? <laughs> Fupa racers. Press start. Fupa racers. Wow. You Love guys want to wear racer. a shirt that says Fupa on it? Fupa racer. Um, yeah, Good job. That's that fucking soon. hilarious. I'm going to touch that up, press that up, and get it on the Teespring, and also get the uh, Los Santos back up there and re-up the store. I just It's all just finding time at this point, but 
Yeah, little Fupa, little Fupa racer, dude. I That's was, awesome, man. I was just stoked by that and to see all the love for the dub. I was like, I want to do something else for this because uh, I'm really liking the cool, pixel man. art. Like, uh, if you made more pixel art, I think that, that's a way to go, man. There's something about that. So, I don't know. It's timeless. It's fun. It's timeless, man. And seeing like Joyce did the the pixel art of mm -hmm. us, I was like, yo, those are so cool, man. Yeah. This is so cool. Um, and the cool thing about pixels is that you can blow them up super big, size of a billboard, or shrink cool. them down. They just always look good. Yeah. Because it's just blocks of color. Yeah. Just can't go wrong with it. Fucking sheesh. Um, yeah, dude. Expect that it. Expect that soon. I'm going to get that one up. A little Fupa King, like Tiger <laughs> Tiger King. <laughs> the Fupa Blue Tiger King. <laughs> Put that on a duvet cover? Whoa. Oh, nice, Ooh, dude. Ooh, mattress B word in the uh, pixel. I was thinking about Whoa. doing that, actually. Um, Dude. For a while, we had the mattress girl on the store, but I think her as pixel art would be pretty Yo. sick. Oh, so was, that was my. That's funny you guys said that. It's actually my next go-to. Nice. It's all Photoshop. Yeah, it's just make Photoshop real small, and instead of a brush, use a pencil tool, and it's just one pixel. Yeah, so you just, just connect the pixels. Yeah, you just make your document 128 size, and you just start drawing. It's fucking dope, dude. Like, I'm going to do that, though, with the, the, the mattress lady. It's my next one. Cool. Hulk is blending. Yeah, Hulk's, uh, he's selected right now, so he's going to... Poor bastard. Got a hold in your heart. I got to put a piece of grain behind me in the fucking OBS. I'll put, like, a little... You guys want me to make a little green color and put it behind the camera. Oh, I see what you're saying. So it'll actually be green yeah, back yeah, here. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean. Use an iPad for drawing? No, I'm on a Cintiq. But uh, iPads are pretty fucking good, though. Yeah. iPads are real good. You have a big Cintiq. I know there's other sprite programs, but I'm just a Photoshop boy. I can't. I just got too many hours in Photoshop. Everything yeah. else everything else is just too slow for me. But, sure. But yeah, dude. Do what you learned. So cool to see that jump up in views. So thank you guys again and again. Yeah. Um, so yeah, for this podcast, for the day, we were just uh, we were scrounging around the internet and looking, of course, in the Discord. Yo, shout out to the Discord. You guys have been dropping some really cool suggestions. Mm -hmm. Thank you, guys. Mm -hmm. And awesome people hang out there. Yeah, dude. So we figured let's, um, let's go down the rabbit hole on some of the stuff you guys have sent in. And some of it is retro VHS lost and found i guess i don't know what we we're gonna call this one we'll figure it out but yeah but it's uh so bizarre what they decide to put onto uh tape very um, interesting um you but think with like with the era of youtube like anything's gonna be on youtube right because it's so easy to make a video but back in the day you had to have a camera put it onto tape put it in a vhs it's like you would you would think like people would be more selective yeah. with what they made but no they put everything they kind of just did every anything and everything yeah so, looking at the Discord, Salt Street Hype put this link for this channel, and it's just... It's just the lost and found of VHS. The, the world would not see this unless we shed some light on this dark, dark corner of the internet. It's very strange. Yeah. Cursed? Some... Yeah, well, maybe. Uh, well um, I'm not going to say no. Some of these definitely cursed, but most of them are just like, who and why? Why? Yeah. What were they? What were they thinking? Please show not again. That guy's looking at me. See, that thumbnail's popping, isn't it? Guys, be careful. These some of these may be cursed. Oh, okay, we're going in. And shouts to Straight Hype, who uh, is a a legend in the community, who's helped find some great content. Yo, it's pretty sick. Yo, dude. he made a dog out of a string. He made like a balloon animal out of string. Hey there, stranger. You want to come here and tie my string? What am I watching? You lied. This was definitely cursed. <laughs> this is like the weirdest. Like VHS had a lot of like, here's how to make a hobby or here's how to get into a hobby. Well, you got to think before the internet, how did people learn to do things? Yeah, you walk into a VHS store. You're going to go talk to somebody? Be like, no. Hey, God, you want to no. change my tire? I don't know how to do it. Yeah. No, brother. Here's a tape on how to change your tire. Daddy, make me some magic. Magic. Like String magic. From around Daddy, the world. make me some magic. I thought I said David Tits. Some magic. 
There's one story about an Eskimo monster. When he was telling a story, he needed more string, and he pulled out his intestines. Oh, my he God! Okay, these are very cursed, actually. So we're going to see this dude eviscerate himself and make a shoots and ladder thing with his guts? Oh, God, dude, with this fucking All gut. right, this next trick is a doozy. I can only do it once, and I repeat, only once. That's it for string. I think it would probably be better if you used cotton. Oh, thank oh, God. Oh, my God, I didn't want to see this dude cut oh, open a dog or something. Thank God. Or yarn. Yarn. Yeah, it's probably safer to use yarn. You can make a hat. Uh, 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 oh, make a hat. Just drop your thumbs. Oh my god, he made a hat. Look at that. That's a hat? It's like Rip Van Winkle's hat or some <laughs> shit, dude. Who fucking wears a hat like that? It's like a pilgrim hat? Or a dunce? Yeah, or a witch's, like a Xandar hat? Or the Eiffel Tower. Oh, so bad boss. It looks like the person. Pops in 30 years. Why did you say that? Yeah, I see it. I see it. <laughs> I see it. What did Or the Eiffel Tower. <laughs> it looks like the perfume bottle, doesn't it? I mean, an Eiffel Tower, the, the perfume, perfume in the shape of an Eiffel Tower, sure. Yeah, yeah I guess. Yeah, I guess. My grandmother used to call perfume toilet water. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. It's uh, uh, I appreciate whoever goes out and archives stuff. Shout out to Dave's archives and as well as Honeydew Wilkins. Dave, if you're out there, but I would are love you, to watch the full cut. Are you sitting on a trove of these full videos, man? Because I gotta see them, dude. The world needs to see them, dude. Yeah, I, it's it's interesting when we we found a few of these that were cool and we're trying to dig and find the full thing. Yeah. But I guess Mr. Honeydew here, he just made super cuts. But I would love to watch the whole thing. I want to see this dude play string for an hour 20. I don't see it. Did you see the magic in that string? I think he's living in his own world. Oh, the ASMR of his mouth. He's like that guy in the Johnny Depp thing. The, by the way, what the fuck was it? We never talked about it. <laughs> but what the fuck was that guy's problem? Has anyone said what that guy was going through? Was he on drugs? They like asked him like a question like what do you do Amber Heard blah 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 and he's like Do I have to answer that? Uh, I think you already answered your own question. The mouth guy. Yeah, yeah. what was that guy? The it weird was a, psychiatrist guy. If you guys have seen anything with the Johnny Depp stuff, they always show him and he's got he's just had dry mouth, antidepressants, <laughs> nervous twitch. Dude, he somebody please get him a glass of water in that courtroom. <laughs> Jesus, man. They don't allow water in court. It's just people. <laughs> Yeah, I guess they're just people don't know that when you're right up on a mic and you go, people can kind of hear people it. People not hear their dry mouth though. I feel like Ugh. if if you, if I can hear it, you can hear it. Some crackhead off the street. He was like a doctor. Or something. No, he wasn't a was crackhead. He, he was a uh, an established uh, a thespian of a psychiatry. <laughs> well, then there's there's people. Isn't that a great... Patrick! Patrick Starr! Hey, it's me, Patrick! Oh, SpongeBob. Great jet plane. <laughs> what? <laughs> Holy shit, dude. Plane. <laughs> One, two, three, four. This is the way you exercise. I think he puts that on his dick and he does this move. Oh, he's trying to get his dick muscles stronger? This is a dick lengthening <laughs> exercise. I don't think the penis has muscles. I think it's uh, considered soft muscle tissue, but it gets hard. Then it becomes real muscle. It's very confusing. It's it goes like, soft to hard. It's the P90X of muscles. It's very confusing. <laughs> this is a dick stretch moves. It's All right. One, two, three. Timing is ever. Oh, this is where he kills himself. Okay, here we go. When you're edging yeah. yourself, you got to be very careful. And this is for when the string career ain't going so well. We just kind of wrap this up here. The so key is to theme. ride the they edge, boys, theme. but don't go over the edge. Oh! Almost got him. Magic hand, show us Grandpa's overalls. Oh my God! Oh my God! This is actually cursed. Show us Grandpa's overalls. There's no, a, I'm good. There's an evil hand coming up here. Good, 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 <laughs> good, good. Good. Thank you.
Uh. Ooh, I like that static the VHS tape on that one. The curse like, kicking in your brain. And <laughs> what am I looking at? What's happening? What is, what Why is, are you on the phone? This? What is this? Are these people are like, please help us? He will. This guy's got us tied up in his basement <laughs> in these intricate patterns. <laughs> I wish we could get out of his house, but he's got us locked up in his basement. Have you ever seen the movie Misery? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I immediately got Misery vibes from this. Every day you wake up, that guy's got you in the basement. He's just putting like different, diff like different kinds of knots on you. Wilson. You're like, oh God. Oh boy. A Yupik Eskimo from Alaska showed me this figure. Oyak, Oyak, Oyak. Agnes. Agnes. Has anyone seen Agnes? Where's Agnes been? Help! Oh, she, you know what she did? She made the words SOS out of string. Yeah, yeah she made a map how to find her. <laughs> I'm here. Please help. It's Kuzma and Nastasha Zach. Okay, maybe we should skip forward a little bit. Car from Non Dalton, Alaska, are two Athabascan elders who were at the school to eat lunch. And they didn't remember any string figures they said, but when they had a string in their hand, they made these figures. Booyah, booyah! <laughs> booyah, booyah! <laughs> whooshies, whooshies! <laughs> made these figures. Booyah, booyah! Practice, practice. If you booyah, forget booyah. how to make something, watch the video again. That's what books and videos are for. Now you Why did you tell me it like that? Make your own string magic. Oh my god. Okay, so this is going to be a cursed episode of the podcast. Um. Pops, you feel like doing string magic? I should be careful doing string magic. God, myself. I feel like grabbing some string right now. How about you guys? I kind of want to get some string going. I um, can get some. <laughs> you guys with the love. Thank you, dudes. Holy crap, that was frightening. Appreciate you. Terrifying. Oh. Jesus! Jesus Christ! Absolutely terrifying. Ah. Chili Poodle. Not the knots again, please. Not again. Not again. Not again. Not again. Oh my god, that was horrifying. See, this is why uh, the. Oh, you're shit. wrong. I mean, you're right. That's exactly what would have happened. You know everything. Now, if someone says in 10 years this is going to be me, I'm going to be pissed. <laughs> I would definitely look like this if I uh, followed suit with the, the hairstyle and the mustache. I, I mean, I definitely... like the guy that I like the mullet. The mullet's good. I like the high uh, high sideburns with the stash. With yeah, the yeah. little uh, gold uh, earring. That's always a good look. Yeah, I mean, you were pretty close to this. Both of us have oh. access to do this. Bro, I wasn't. I wasn't close to this. I was this. Yeah. Did you do a mustache with it too? I did a handlebar. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, that was the first thing to come. <laughs> that's Joe Mullet. Yeah. <laughs> So this one is Lauren's Wedded Bliss. Oh, this was a good tale. This is something we should aspire to look forward to. It's like marriage. All right. Marriage. Know everything. Marriage communication. It's going to get anywhere. Like Eagle Raptor could come pull this off, dude. He's kind of... Oh, oh no, oh, dude! Is this oh, trouble no. in paradise? Oh no! Oh, the posture, yo, dude's legs are crazy. Yo, look at okay. So his seating arrangement—he's so tall that when he bends over, his legs are forty-five degrees. He's squatty potty. <laughs> yo, his his knees are going like over his nipples. I've lived this life, man. God damn, this guy's all legs. Is this a porno? No, I think well, this is real life. This is a trouble in paradise. Maybe right here. an amateur film. Uh, get into this again. <laughs> shit, fuck. Oh, shit. the old lady's acting up. <laughs> Your old ball and chain. Here we go again. <sighs> Deep sigh. D and Lauren agree. Yo, H Fortune and uh, Falk coming in. Papa, thank you as well. Oh. To allow our cameras videotape them during one of their frequent arguments. <laughs> Classic signs of male withdrawal Sir. can be seen here. Whoa. I'm just saying. How to handle conflict. The VHS tape. 
Dude, if you want to figure out how to, you know, handle your wild mulleted man, <laughs> you need to pop a VHS. I want dude. to tame him. He love him, but he's just so tough on the outside. When you keep trying inside. to tame me. You don't know what I'm like. You don't know. Me. We, I'm a rambling man. <laughs> we have an argument or a discussion or whatever it may be. When I say, you just can't listen to what I say and smoking in the house. Are you gonna yell at me for that now, huh? Okay. And go, you know, you have to say no, but, or yeah, but. Okay, so it's you always want the me but. just to keep on, okay, you're right, whatever, and when you're doing something co tremendously stupid, let you go on <sighs> thinking you're right until you <laughs> something up so massively, oh. I have to fix it as usual. Oh, you too, this is a mess. Yeah, when you're doing stuff that's stupid, the last thing you want to have is someone tell you you're doing something stupid. God, you're just always doing your stupid fucking shit. Why are you always telling me I'm doing stupid stuff? I'm sitting here, I'm smoking, I'm falling asleep. <laughs> it's all about a butt. It's always about a butt, butt, butt. Yes, fart, butt, fart, no, fart. butt. Cheeks, cheeks, cheeks. As cheek, usual. Cheek. Yeah, you're right. When you had you the temper tantrum and broke the door, who had to fix it? Ooh, now you're bringing, now you're bringing up old you're stuff. You're always bringing up the past. When you had the temper tantrum Stop. down in the bedroom and started throwing things, who had to fix it? Is that another ten? This guy's a temper tantrum uh, Ted. Temper tantrum Ted. Temper uh, tantrum Teddy. Fix what down there? What the hell you talking about? Wait a minute, put a hole in it. Just put a patch it up. Put cream, what, what are you mean? about? When, <laughs> when you threw the screwdriver that one day. Holy shit. Oh, okay, don't be throwing screwdrivers. That's assault, brother. See, hey, y'all, bringing up the past again. Things that... I have nothing to do what we're talking about now. Wait, it has exactly to what we do what we're talking about. It's not even the same argument. Um, we're talking about. I barely smashed it. Oh, you screwing See, up and me having to fix it. That's what I'm saying. It. See, you'll have to bring up stuff from the past to sh show that I'm wrong. Again, I'm giving you Again. documentation. I'm curious, though, if this is like a real couple and the camera guy's just like. Or is it like there's a sound crew and a light or, crew? Are they role playing it for the sake of how to deal with the, the conflict? So this is like the very good. Actors. This is the very first example of like reality <laughs> TV, right? When you watch uh, the History Channel or TLC, it's like a 90 Day Fiance. They're they're fighting and stuff. Yeah, but they're fighting in front of a producer and a film crew. Yeah, this guy's got that giant lens. Just like, yeah, go ahead and talk about how he threw that fucking thing. So is the producer like fueling the argument <laughs> to like get the storyline going? Let's see. Fat. That's the past, Dee Dee. It's still fast, Dee Dee. Lauren. Dee Dee. Bad Dee Dee. What did we, what did we talk is about? Past, but it's still a fact. Beep, beep. I give up, I give up brother. As you can see in the- Oh, a changed man! Hey, this guy cleaned up, changed, turned his life around. Oh my god, now he's wearing pastels. Hey, he's a nice little hadley ho neighborina. Yeah, he's got like Ned Flanders energy. Months later, and he's like, I just, I stopped throwing stuff. I stopped throwing screwdrivers. Stop doing stupid stuff. Stop doing the stupid stuff. Stop that, smoking. That was the first thing to go. Yeah, I didn't realize that actually was the cause of all the problems with throwing stuff. Yeah, it's and it's expensive. <laughs> it's <laughs> stupid. Example with Dee and Lauren. He interprets her behavior. Mark Hamill brother. I see that a little I bit too. I kind of see what you're saying. This guy man. looks like a lot of people. Man. Behavior much more negatively Ted than Hamill. she intends it to be. It, I do the best I can do. I mean, it's like I clean and the kids come in. Five minutes later, it's not clean anymore. Well, see, it's it's not just the floor. I mean, because we have the dog. You know, the dog's going to bring in dirt, too. But it's like, you get done wiping the table, and I look, and it's like, there's crumbs. You know, it's like you have a little jar or something. Oh, my God, he has a ponytail. Oh, it's a rat tail. Oh, my God, he has a rat tail ponytail oh. in the back. Nice. Do you guys see it? It's like a little turd back there. You see that thing? Yeah, he braided it. Is that motherfucker braided? <laughs> yeah, that, that's a braided rat tail, brother. Look at that. And it's far back. Wow. You like you wouldn't even know until he turns around and whips it around. I think technically braided rat tails are called um, possum tails. Oh, God. I, I'm not. I'm, I'm, I gotta get my mullet, uh, you know, clear, like, uh, you know, verbiage right. A 47 year old Padawan. King. <laughs> Padawan, yeah. Of crumbs, and it's like, well, I'm gonna wash, and then you take all these crumbs and sprinkle them. I thought he cleaned himself up, but he no. just um, got nice and tied up. He got cleaned up by his definition. He watched that fucking string video and put his hair in his string. In the <laughs> wah, wah, wah. <laughs> like you leave him for me. Booyah, booyah, booyah. And on purpose. Invalidation. Invalidation. Yeah, these would be great uh, emotes, these little pencil <laughs> filters. <laughs> yeah, these are good faces. <laughs> 
I like that gas like, litter with the, the crumbs. That was pretty cool. Yeah, it's like it's really hard to get uh, emotes like that. Like we do photo shoots for our emotes, mm-hmm. and it's like, man, how do you get shame? Andy Richter. How do you get invalidation in a face? They <laughs> yeah. got it like perfect. Yeah, invalidation <laughs> in an emote. Yeah. You did not ask her that. I did too. Okay, you're right. You're- the hair's back. He untamed it. You're right. Your Highness. <laughs> Gaslighting, dude. <laughs> oh shit! You know when you're in a oh. heated argument and you start fucking actually dancing on them. Oh All yeah, right, motherfucker. There you go. Kind of weird, <laughs> dude. Woo-hoo. It's getting heated. That hair is about to catch on fire, boy. I also like the the move of like uh, having your ashtray in your lap like a bowl of chips. Mm. It's like you'd forget and accidentally <laughs> eat some. You're always right. I'm always wrong. Oof. Uh, well, the always and the never. You know, don't always do stupid stuff. <laughs> You're so mature. <laughs> oh, look, look at you. Oh, I tell you. Oh, the shit he's saying I to himself. I love talking under your breath. <laughs> I love that move. The dark side battle. <laughs> getting anywhere with you. I ain't getting nowhere. I'm saying and... that I get the feeling you think I want you Her to do all the work. sick. They're both going for like Star Wars hair. She's like yeah. Padme now. Yeah, she's got like uh, what are those tieflings, uh, those sexy lady hairs. So yeah, she's going for that. Work, and that's not what I want. Okay. <laughs> Wait, who are you? Oh, this guy was here the whole time. Hi, I'm here. <laughs> I uh, yes, I've been here the whole time. Go ahead and paraphrase. Let's make sure you got it right. <laughs> Let's run through that again. So he threw the stapler. And then what happened? You throw hot oil across the room, and then what? (laughs) Then he unleashed the hair in the back, and then what happened? Go on. Go on. Let the hatred flow (laughs) through you. Yes. Let's make sure you got it right. (laughs) No, so what I hear you saying is you think that I think that you want me to do all the work. Right. Great paraphrase. Great (laughs) paraphrase. (laughs) <laughs> Great paraphrase. Good job. Doc, I really think you're helping. Lauren shows he has just listened to Dee and understands her by paraphrasing. Dee speaks only for herself. She doesn't mind read or assume how Lauren thinks or feels. Oh, see, I'm going to answer the... <laughs> Yo, this guy... Yo, he's having a hard time listening. <laughs> this guy's rocking, man. I'm used to you doing all the talking. I'm not used to listening. God damn, them teeth come out that mustache. <laughs> He's kind of Steve, pogging, but... learning about listening, yeah. active listening. That's oh. a good emoji, too, man. Sheesh. Look out, K. Coney. Here comes a new emoji. Pog Kona. Sheesh. <laughs> Are you... Oh. So you're saying that when you're home, you're there, you could be taking care of them, but you play with them more and you feel that's not what I want. Yeah. Paraphrasing success. Lauren wants to interject his opinion here. He wants to disagree, but he's sticking to the speaker-listener technique and validating mm. Dee's comments. Mm. Here, agreeing... Well, he's just, yeah, he's seeing NASCAR in his head. ...is not what's important. Mm. What's important is that he hears Left and turns. understands. Thank you. Can I have the floor, please? Thank you. <laughs> the right two turns. courteously pass the floor after one has spoken on a few thoughts. And what's not the mind end here? Ends. Talk about how you feel. Uh-oh. Hey, you gotta make a job, you gotta living somehow. Okay, well, interesting. Uh, you know what? Let's see what else we got. It's a good price, I guess. It's so strange digging through these weird little <laughs> VHS mysteries, dude. It's definitely gonna be Pops, this guy says. Oh yeah, well this is definitely gonna be me and you, very soon. Watch your back, brother. Knife, yeah! knife party. Oh, this is knife self-defense. I like the flag background. It's pretty tight. Yo, it's a lot of flags going on. Damn, he's countering him every time. If you look, he's slicing his wrist. Yo, this new Street Fighter is looking sick. New character. Yo, this fit right here, the washed out jeans Dude, with the dad it's so shoes. so good. You washed out Wranglers with some dad shoes, man. One, two, three, four. The four corners. He's just Jeez, taking it. That guy's like 
doesn't even take any damage. He's just, just tanked. Like, yup, focus move, bitch. My man's main tanking. Oh, wait, we got a little... Oh, did he break the eyes? And he went... You know, you got a little mustard on your shirt? He went... Liquid. Oh my god, he's boxing his cock. Do you see that? A little slap of the dick and balls. Jesus. From the bottom. Oh, he kicked, ah. the, kicked the balls and then tapped them. Ah. <laughs> Kick the balls, flick the dick. Wait, is this instructional or more a demonstration? I think they're Got like, it. the purpose of this VHS is for you to buy it and then replay it and watch it over and over again. <laughs> You're right. The double grab? <laughs> Armpit smack? Five, six, wow. seven. The upside down triangle. Upside down Whoa, moves. wait, wait, wait. So he went in, in, and then flipped it up? Like uh, cutting up a turkey. He's going, Why, hey, though? Dead. For, like, style points? Like, dex build stuff? I guess so. They just flail around for the whole thing? That's <laughs> awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Love those sounds, though, huh? I love that these dudes are doing this in some office building. Rented it out for the day. That's so cool, man. Ah. Oh, oh, fuck! Oh. Cock suplex! Yo, he actually grabbed his his wang through man the jeans. handle. You got a long handle. Saw if the if your ah. opponent has a long handle, feel free to. That's just free range. Yeah, just it's it's all leverage, right? You just pull that lever back, brother. <laughs> Third leg. Yoink. Yeah! Ouch. <laughs> Get sweaty. His turn. Oh, no. Oh, Whoa, good move. The Top Gun music. Cock slam. Boom. Counter. Perfect counter. Yeah. Dead. This guy's getting a workout, though. Getting up and down like that over and over. His cock slapped. Oh, fuck. <laughs> That's a little rock. And this, there's no padding. This is just hard floor on that worst carpet. <laughs> you said these would be practice moves. I'm sorry. Sometimes you get caught up in the self defense, dude. Sometimes sparring, you get hurt. Yo, he, th <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he threw him down way too hard, man. Like, we get it. You yeah. didn't have to. Ah! All right, yeah, let's do it again. Stop. Oh, nice. Oh, well, don't touch the flag. Don't touch the flag. Don't disrespect the old glory like that. Easy, easy. Think of this rhyme, if you will. Five, five. B left testicle, right testicle. Eye, eye, eye. Thigh, thigh, eye, eye. Two balls, two eyes. You're in him in third class. Congress of American Knife Sir. Fighters. Congress? <laughs> A Congress. For a knife congressional fighters. meeting of knife fighters? <laughs> what the fuck, dude? This is no insane. wonder we can't get anything done. The legislature's all caught up in knife fights. Certification and test requirements. Wow. Dude, these these clubs back in the day, man. Hey, if, if you're from, like, UK or the European Union, you want to know what America's like? Yeah, just just prepare yourself mm -hmm. for the blade flurry. Um, That was awesome. All right, well, let's see what else we have here. Let's oh, just... Rock and Roll Pizza Hut. Where do you see that one? The very top with that lady. Rock and Roll Pizza Hut. Are you guys ready to dance? Sir. Wait, I don't know. Is this... Is she signing or what is she... Uh, yeah. She's signing. Yeah, she's signing. But she's getting it too. What is that? Surely handy. So this really is a training video. Please don't use this for party entertainment, all right, guys? <laughs> don't use so this for actual parties, okay? Chill. Hey, when you laugh and giggle like that, chill. I know what it's really for. Chill, chill, chill. We all love to rock and roll. Sway into the music, let your motions go. Man, this is so rare to see. Oh, my boy, Jodo. Legendary. Legendary Jodo, show him some love. Tier 3, 45 months. Jodo, are you ready to rock? How the hell you doing, man? Good to see you. Thank you for the love, dude. Godspeed to you. Chat, you ready to rock? Kicking ass, taking names, I can only assume.
And I uh, wish it was a better guitarist. Thank you for almost a year. Dog six, send some energy. Well, hell yes. Aww, dude. Send some, get some hearts in the chat. Send in love your way, dude. Um, dude, this is crazy. This is like watching a TikTok from the 80s. Whoa, when you put it like that, it really narrows in on this to a lot. Right? Is it feels it feels like we're watching a TikTok. Clap your hands, put a smile on your face, and give three cheers for the whole human race. Hell yeah! I think you're wonderful. Wait. Where's pizza? pizza. <laughs> Yo, Master Girder with the five. What up, dude? I think you're wonderful, Mr. Girder. Show him some love. Appreciate you, dude. <laughs> Master Girder. <laughs> BLT. Bam. BLT. Bam. BLT. Bam. Dairy Queen. Dairy Queen. Long John Silver. Now oh, is it, hold the, on the, the milk is a cow and is the queen is she actually sign language or is she uh, just having fun? Uh, I, I I don't practice American sign language myself because I don't want to go out there and go hey look Dairy Queen and then hey, some deaf guy is hey, like hey, Dairy Queen and some deaf guy is hey, like dude this guy oh, just called me a fucking cocksucker you called know what me I mean? the milk and queen yeah hey, hey, yo. can anyone confirm? I mean, yeah, someone must someone must know. I think sign language is the number two language I think, uh, in the yeah. world. I think it's universal. Queen or whatever. Pizza Hut. Pizza Hut. Kentucky Fried Chicken and Pizza. How have I? How come I've heard this before? Why would we need this if we're signing? How have I heard this before? Kentucky Fried Chicken in a Pizza Hut. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! You're tapping into something. What is that? That's a. Is that like a YouTube? McDonald's, McDonald's. Oh, Isn't it yeah. A song? Rock and roll <laughs> McDonald's. Isn't it a song? Rock and roll McDonald's. I, that just hit me in the nostalgia somewhere. So, Wesley Hutt. Mills. This yeah, is not Willis, a yeah. song. Is this sign language? To, is this insulting? <laughs> yeah, girl. It's legit, but this is outdated. They do different gestures now, says chat. Oh, wow. Oh. A relic of the past. Whoa. That's pretty cool, man. Well, that's crazy. I didn't think, I never thought about that. Like yeah. with, within the world of sign language, you could be signing. And if you're doing the old shit, it's like a guy who talks like Shakespeare. It's like, bro, what, what the fuck are you? I get what yeah. you're saying. Yeah. But that's not how we do milk the cow. We don't we don't milk the Dairy Queen. <laughs> <You know? laughs> yeah, it's like, dude, you don't have to talk like Shakespeare times anymore. Yeah. And chicken, you know, it's uh, it's, it's just it's chicken. Gone. It's a lot of work now. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, chicken is just this now. Yeah, it's yeah. not you don't have yeah, to you don't have to get your arms <laughs> flapping because not always you don't always have your arms to be flapping. <laughs> yeah, you don't have to actually do that. Pizza Sign hut. language slang. Pizza hut. Kentucky Fried Chicken and Pizza Hut. Now McDonald's. Ba, ba, ba. McDonald's. McDonald's. Yeah, I've heard yeah, McDonald's. This McDonald's. Kentucky Fried Chicken and, and a pizza, pizza Hut. McDonald's. Yo, McDonald's sign language. Pretty cool. Yeah. It's a huge logo. You turn into a giant logo. Theatrics. McDonald's. Kentucky Fried Chicken and Pizza Hut. Like, and McDonald's is just so big, it got its own sign. Yeah, that's how popular they are. They had to make a own word for it because, like, chicken, right? And Kentucky chicken, right? Yeah, Those are different but it's just like words, right? if you were to say you know, the Golden Gate Bridge, it's like, yeah. oh, you're talking about McDonald's. Exactly. How do you say Burger King? You know? rock out Burger King. Do whatever you're going to do <laughs> Burger that little King. Part. God bless you all and bless your hearts and all your parts. Thank you. All my parts? Bless your hearts and your parts, chat. Yo! Bless your parts. <laughs> All of them? I'm going to start saying that, man. What do you mean by parts? Kentucky Fried Chicken in a Pizza Hut. McDonald's. McDonald's. Hey, 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 shout out to everyone's parts. Yeah, pretty weird to see that, huh? Bless your parts. Yeah, get it, girl. All right, what else do we want? There's, there's, there's so much here. This is like a weird... 
corner of the internet. I don't know what to this do about it. This one might be risky, unmasking the myth of safe sex. That might be, a, yeah, we might just comb through that one. What about dating? What's the point? Ooh, yeah, nice. Yeah, Chad, what is the point? Chad always loves, like, the dating stuff. Is it not? Oh! Girls, nothing in my life has been more confusing and complicated. <laughs> yeah, tell me about it. <laughs> we can tell. Girls, am I right? Wow. Whether He's got the Rocco's Modern Life trip. It's girls is just friends or asking them out on a date. Well, as a guy, I feel completely in the dark. I, I've been discouraged, even depressed. Well, it isn't any easier for us girls. Oh my God, these two, with their, these two with their belts. Yo, where's his belly button at? Yo, he, it's a, it's a upper button, man. Fuck. Way up high, both of you. Hi, I'm Polly Butler. And I'm Brian Barry. Brian Barry. Brian Barry here to tell you how to be. <laughs> Brian Barry is straight up a GTA RP character. Brian Barry. Together we'll be hosting the show on relationships with the opposite sex. Wait, why do you say so awkwardly like that? Relationships with the opposite sex. Keep it simple, Brian. Dating. Guys are always worried that girls will turn them down when they ask them for a date. I think this is Knott's Berry Farm. I think this is a theme park that they're at. It's weird I think this is Six Flags. Do a dating show at Six Flags. Yeah, because I think Six Flags always had that kind of like, oh, we can just use B-roll of like the, you know, roller coasters. Yeah. Well, girls are afraid they'll never be asked out for a date. Well, guys are always worried that they can't be themselves. You know, they have to be macho. Oh, yeah, that's what we always hear on the Valentine's stream. Guys are like, what does it fucking mean? Be myself. What does that even mean? Yeah. What does that mean? I can't be myself. Be myself, that'd be, uh, you know, Pizza Hut and jerking off. That's me. McDonald's. I can't do that. <laughs> I can't just do that. Why date at all? I mean, what's the purpose? Guys talking to girls and girls talking to guys. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh, my God. This is amazing. Oh, my gosh. This guy fucks so hard. This is a thousand views. This is incredible. Boys talking to girls. <laughs> Hear this guy again. What's the purpose? Guys talking to girls and girls talking to guys. Girls talking to guys. How is this real? Is Yo, this my not... man's breaking it down. Girls talking to guys. You can't run and they can't run, so you're there together. What? What? What the fuck? <laughs> Excuse me? Nobody can run in this interaction. What the fuck did he just run and they, they can't run, so you're there together. The third reason. Yo, that's the dentist system, the implication. For dating is simply to have a good time to relax and to play. Play. Uh, <laughs> careful playing around this guy. Just want to relax. I like to keep it light and so just have a good time. Just have a good time. It's like shower's off fine. What are guys <laughs> and girls looking oh for in a date? So just what are you crazy? Attracted thank you, dude. To? Putos para mí. Thank you, dude. That's the main thing I was looking for. And King Haynes, thank you for the five gifty, my man. Appreciate it, man. That's big. Thanks, Master Gurder, as well. This guy's dripped out. That's the main thing I was. The fashion's sick. That's the main dude. thing I was looking for in a girlfriend was personality and looks. Uh, pretty much physical looks. Pretty much physical. Physical looks. looks. Pretty much just want physical oh, looks. Some cute and thin, you know. Pretty Sexy. much. Pretty much just want some stacked up, thick and caked up. Uh, the way she looked, what she had, what she could offer me. What can she offer me? <laughs> That's such a weird thing to say. I, I really what don't think like me? they think about what they're saying. Uh, I've never been in front of a camera. <laughs> they're just they're just speaking off the cuff, man. Andrew, who? What up, dude? Thank you, man. Of course, he's got to be silly good looking. The hoops. Of course, dude. The hoops, though. Yeah, the hoops is pretty awesome. Yo, and bring, the poof? Or the hoops. Those are like hula hoops. She looked what she had, what she could offer me. Of course, he's got to be silly good looking. Because I'd be lying if he said looks didn't matter. They do. Nice, they do. girl. Get it. Slay. They, they matter, dude. Face it. Most of us are first attracted to someone by their outward appearance. Like the way they look. The color of their hair. Their clothes. Or the way they walk. Why are you showing Brian, dude? He's not Brian on camera. Barry. <laughs> talk and talk. It's impossible to say that looks don't matter. <laughs> looks can't be the... <laughs> Incredible. Most important, or certainly the only part of the attraction. I had sex, and then I had to, I had to have more and more of it. Please. Oh my god! Oh, dude, I think this guy's a vampire. <laughs> I don't think he's a regular dude. 
I had mortal I sense. I needed more. <laughs> I, had, I oh. had one taste. And ever since that day, I've needed more. Yeah, whenever he has sex, you just gotta, you gotta get more. <laughs> Germa. <laughs> oh, no, okay, dude. Okay, dude. I had sex, and then I. Had <laughs> little bit, of, just, a, just a touch, just a touch. I had to, the touch of Germa. <laughs> I had to have more and more of it, pretty much. <laughs> oh, he has to look into his head to think about what he's saying. Oh, man. What's so fucked? Hey, Germa, what's going on, man? I had sex, and then I had to I had to have more and more of it, pretty much. It's almost kind of like an addiction. When I had sex with him, it was like... Oh, he's licking his lips? It, it was that, well, that that's pretty much... It was like I, I got what I wanted, I guess. And... And then I really didn't, I didn't seem to care about him that much anymore. Oh my god. Dude, uh, hear me out. Does that guy uh, kind of look like Hayden Christensen a little bit? Yeah, I see that a little bit. A little bit a of brow. the brow. Uh, Germa joining the dark side a little bit. <laughs> yeah, yeah oh, Order 69. I definitely see that. Whoa, dude. That, well, that, that's pretty much, it was like I, I got He's what I He's like wanted. such a coomer, it's crazy. Like, yeah. He, he, he can't even like not think about it. I just can't get it up. Yeah, he just got his. Uh, He's like in a trance. Like his eyes are glossed over. As I just uh, once I girt, then I just don't care about anything anymore. <laughs> but I need more. And, and then I really didn't. I, and the brows get lower and lower. I didn't seem to care about him that much anymore. I don't care about nobody no more. Anyone, anything anymore. One time, a girl told me that she thought she might be pregnant, but I told her that I was gonna move. What? Yeah. What? Oh, what? Oh Wait, uh, excuse me? Oh my god. Wait, what? Uh, <laughs> this fucking guy. I, I, why would you admit this? She's pregnant, so I moved. I, I got out of there as fast as I could before she could get my last name. The puzzle guy, Dallas, going, Yo, shout out, Dallas. And she thought she might be pregnant, but I told her that I was going to move to Dallas. Dallas. Hey, big ups to Texas. <laughs> we got Dallas in the house, huh? Pride Month, brother. <laughs> Dallas for all the brothers and sisters of Texas. The brothers got to run to Dallas. <laughs> I'm running into Dallas. I'm in the old dusty trail, my lady. <laughs> Don't got much time for no pregnancy. Give me the old girt and go. <laughs> what a burgers call my name. <laughs> God is not down on sex. God does not have a hex on sex. Sex is not dirty. Oh, this I is, like this guy. This is religious. Yo, I like this dude. Sex ain't dirty. Jesus got down from time to time. Oh, yeah, he's going swinging his head. He whip it out. A little robe. Just pull the robe off to the side. Wiggle his dick around. Drop it in your wine. And Drop do it a like prank. it's hot real quick. Yeah, God, found, God finds a lot of humor in sex. It's funny. I mean, it is kind of funny. All the goos. All the, the noises we make. The uh, weird uh, smells. Uh, 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 we start sweating. Stinking. Funny. Down on sex. God does not have a hex on sex. Sex is not dirty. As a matter of fact, God created sex. True, dude. Whoa, whoa. Yeah, Yo, dude. I just need this guy to put it on the focus. God was like, you know what, dude? This and something like this, and you go like that. Pretty fucking cool. Angels are like, fuck yeah. It's hot. Yo. Sexual purity is not a popular message in today's society. I know that. But that's why you need to seek your parents' approval. <laughs> uh, well. Seek your parents' approval. Sure. I'm sure you have a lot of questions to ask about this subject. That's why we included. <laughs> I love when it's just like the. I'm the owner of the cable network here, and I approve this message. It's like Gerald Ford's brother. Scott Kirby's book. On Whoa! Page. What a read. Scott Kirby's pamphlet-sized booklet. <laughs> it's an easy read on why dating is important. All you need to know about dating, right here. <laughs> With this video series. So read this book. Talk to your parents. Read this book. Talk to your minister or your youth minister. Oh, uh, minister! Oh, uh, can I find out more ways to have sex with ladies? Watch this one. I uh, keep right. an eye on him. Keep uh, keep an eye out on that one over there. Just He's... to be safe. <clears throat> I get it. You know, sex isn't a dirty thing. <laughs> Cockeyed one. <laughs> but, uh, you know, <laughs> just uh, is red flags. Guys, a lot of red just, flags. Guys talking girls. 
Girls talking guys. I love that. Line. I gotta see that line again. Guys talking to girls and girls talking to guys. <laughs> <laughs> Who does that help? Girls talking to guys. Going to, going to Dallas. <laughs> oh, man. <clears throat> Yo, I want the full cut of this VHS tape. Please, I need this. I think we found a kind of a, a rough version of it. We found more. There's like, like a series yeah, of these. Yeah, we found more from like this series specifically. But yeah, Brian Barry's a teen crisis, teens in crisis series. Oh, my God, dude. But guys talking to girls and girls talking to guys. And just... Girl That's talking, what it is. Girls talking guys. Oh wait, there's so okay, there's so many. <clears throat> what else do we want to check out here? Let's dance the world's full famous myth stars of and DJs. the myth of safe sex. I'm kind of curious, but we should gently probably calm through it. I don't know. I just feel like that one might be trouble. You know what I mean? Let me. They might have diagrams <clears throat> of you know penises. Oh yeah, we can't show a diagram. You know? Twitch isn't like. In this video. It's loud. Listen, great, Dr. Though. James Dobson teams up with Dr. Joe McElhaney to give you the information you need to make wise choices. Man, that voice is velvety smooth, oh, isn't yeah. it? Let's join Dr. Dobson now as he prepares to unmask the myth of safe sex. It looks like it's just I a think talking. It's just talking. Let's just come through it real. It quick. might just be a talking to, <clears throat> which I'm down for. The ultimate uh, cookie next? Yeah, we could do that. <laughs> I'm just scrubbing through it just to make sure they don't bring out a big old dildo diagram and show the vast difference. This is just I people talking. Good. I think we're good. You Are know, you guys with, ready for safe sex? With YouTube, it's interesting. In the corners of YouTube, it's like how it used to be. Yeah. If you find pockets of corners, it's like the Wild West. Mm -hmm. You just see a full frontal male nudity, and you're like, Jesus, what, YouTube? Yeah. YouTube. Stops. Dr. James Dobson teams up with Dr. Joe McElhaney to give you the information you need to make wise Hello, choices. Hello, fellow children. I'm Let's here to teach Dr. you about safe sex. And the myths. Oh, as he prepares to unmask the myth Do you think we're going to learn sex. anything in this? James Dobson is in jail? Uh-oh. To give you Michael Haney, Dr. Joe teams up with Dr. Joe. In this video, Was Dr. It? James Dobson teams up with Dr. Joe McElhaney. He's in jail what's for what's he in what? jail for? What did he do? Just that are They're groomers? He molested children? Shocking. Well, the most common diseases that are uh, seen in this country are the two diseases, chlamydia and HPV. HPV. You wanna watch this one? Hey, I, I have no problem talking about HPV. Are the human papillomavirus infection. Chlamydia. Uh, but then herpes, congenital syphilis. Uh, it's kind of a YouTube uh, herpes. poop. <laughs> the, a YouTube, YouTube poop. pooped it. Yeah, it's a YouTube poop. Women, particularly. Chlamydia. You guys get the trunks hair. Oh, yeah. Look at that, dude. Chlamydia. We have... Oh, this guy's like... Nice. <laughs> she's like, dude, I've had a clap. She's nothing, dude. Clap? I clap back, dude. Dude, when I hear clap, I clap back, dude. Chlamydia, easy, bro. Just innumerable of the diseases cool. that many of... Like the quaffed of white... That's when people nice. have the uwu, <laughs> <laughs> he's got the perma uwu. I haven't even heard of. If anyone has sex outside of marriage with someone who's had sex before, and some others from some mucus that might be left on a toilet seat or okay, mucus. <laughs> Why is there mucus on the oh, toilet? On. I don't want to talk about mucus on the toilet. Oh God! What the <laughs> fuck, dude. All right, hey let's man, pick a, let's pick a, one, pick a different one, pick a different one, pick a different one, pick a different one. The ultimate cookie. Where do you see that one? Uh, it's next to the normal American family. <laughs> Enrich International has a vigorous research and development program, which has produced a growing product line that is becoming the envy of the industry. One of Enrich's latest additions to this Whoa. product line is... Louis cookie in a, sing a singular cookie in a, a single bag. This like reminds me of like uh, mom and pop deli places where they have like the bag of chips and like the individually wrapped cookies. Yeah. Mm. James Dobson died last year. He's not in jail anymore. So is is he not a, a bad we got, guy? We got an update. We got an update. Oh, he's dead. Okay. Cookie in a singular bag. I think you know you're in. Wee's Tenny's ultimate. Cookie. What I never understood is like like how does it stay? Is it full of preservatives? Mm-hmm. 
Denise Tenney, a world-class nutritional cook, well-known lecturer, and best-selling author on health, was recruited by Enrich to help create this unique The cookie. ultimate. Oh, the it. ultimate cookie. Yo, it's she is creative. wearing tier three grandma raid set. <laughs> Damn, your grandma has two legendary pearls and a doily on her neck. Holy fuck, she got the next Ramis doily. I am a, oh, I'm a grandma mage. It was very exciting when I finally got the right ingredients. Everybody wants a taste of my ultimate cookie. The fiber with the sweeteners. No other cookie provides a level of fiber. Clean, cleanse your colon like mine does, while also at the same the same time simultaneously providing the rich oatmeal raisin flavor we all crave. Oh, so dry and tastes like fucking flour. <laughs> and came up with a cookie that tasted good and looked good, and Yo, those glasses uh, were sick. was exactly what we wanted. That cookie make you crap, dude. She's talking <laughs> about fiber. Tastes good. It's something you can eat, and you feel like you're not harming your body. Oh, uh, so. <laughs> Yo, the hair, man. Yo, he's got, like, Lego hair. Yeah, it's a <laughs> solid piece of sculpted charcoal. Like a helmet. <laughs> Obsidian helmet. Lego, Lego character. <laughs> God damn. Before I've lost him. He's actually on the toilet. He might be. He's crying. Oh, that cookie. <laughs> it's ultimate, all right. Ultimate. Push you to your limits, that's Pop for sure. my ult. About 25 pounds on the cookie in the last... Uh, Two weeks of Wait a minute, what do you do with the pounds? Before I've lost Good, it's something you lost you can 25 eat and feel pounds like eating cookies? Hold on. Not harming your body. What? Uh, so far I've lost about 25 pounds on the cookie in the last uh, two weeks I've lost 15 pounds. It's compact and easy Dude, to carry. Lost 40 in a purse, pounds? backpack, or pocket. That's like a fiber burster in your pocket. It's like boom. Dude, it popping your oil well is like and a new go thing now. Anywhere. Why is this the still around? The perfect companion for the ultimate cookie is Rev. Rev is a refreshing, satisfying beverage which... Well, this is just a front to sell some kind of superfood juice bullshit. ...replenishes the body with electrolytes and nutrients lost during our modern stressful lifestyles. It's delicious and there is absolutely nothing like it on the market. With Rev Drink, the ultimate cookie will help build stamina and energy while assisting you in losing those unwanted pounds. Oh, is, uh oh. Is this going to be like that shit that's like those weight loss pills where they fuck oh, your stomach up and the all that? Ephedrine and all like those wow chips that give you anal leakage? <laughs> yeah, it'll make your butt drip. I really got interested in Rev. I wanted to find out where to get some more. And I ordered a case and I put myself and my whole family on it. Uh oh. This is like a multi-level marketing scam. Oh, big time. Oh, my God. Oh. Yeah, dude, you just buy uh, $500 worth, try to sell it, and come back to me. Maybe you work your way up to getting a company car someday. Yeah. A classic multi-level marketing uh, ploy or like a tell, red flag is, oh, I got it, and now my whole family's on it. Got me, even put my baby's name on it. Yeah. If it's like, well, if this man's willing to put his whole family at risk, mm -hmm. it must be worth the price. And during the last six months, I have dropped 40 pounds. Jesus. I have got six inches in the waist. Show me a before and after. Yeah, I don't believe you, Doug. Back then, they didn't have Photoshop. I don't think they're brave enough to show us some Polaroids. And I really feel good about myself. My teenage daughters really started noticing, Mama, what are you doing? Your, your muscles are getting so hard. <laughs> so hard. Why is she feeling your muscles? So hard. All my friends asked me if I belonged to a health club and which one. Which? And really, I don't. I drank Rev. I got muscle tone, and they asked me. Just from drinking and eating cookies, I got muscles. I got, I'm like She-Hulk. They were onto something, man. Cookies. Cookies and, 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 and juice? I'm on the cookie diet. What my man was do? juicing. I do nothing but drink Rev. This is my exercise. <laughs> oh, I bet it is. For more information about the Enrich opportunity, contact the person who gave you this tape. <laughs> Whatever, some guy in a back alley. All right, guys, alley. my DMs are open. If you want some red cookies, it's... <laughs> but it's a back alley is where I got it from. So how do I know? Talk to your person who gave you this video. <laughs> That's awesome. Yo, Dosmo, the 88 months. Dozzy, what up, dude? Holy Thank you, man. Smokes. 88. We've been through it a long time, man. God damn, 88 months? Proto man, thank you so much for the 20. How long is that? 88? Jesus. Dude. Can someone do the quick math on 88 months? Let's see. People want buttheads, huh? What's House of Barb? Oh, 
yeah. What's what's Barb all about? Like, what is Barb? Are you guys liking these weird, uh, you know, VHS uh, things? I love them. We don't so know. Great. We I have not seen this. We don't know where this can go. Not seen this. Is this like a dating? Something about Barb, though. What is going on with Barb? Hello, who is it? Barb. What are you doing? Nancy! Barb! Can you even believe how amazing much we learned at one weekend at Acquire the Fire? You know, I can't believe it. About life and love and happiness and security in our faith? Whoa, and is this, the, the, <laughs> oh is this a cult video? I think we're watching Barb in a cult kind of thing. Yo, huh? this is wild! Oh my god. Remember when we burned those pagans at the stake and their screams echoed throughout that valley? It was totally sick. Oh my god, I finally saw my purpose in life. What is this? And of course, sex. Nancy, my precious moments are listening. I precious. I mean, the absence of sex, silly. Remember courting, not dating? Uh, gag me, dating, ugh, never. True. Well, remember that when Kurt calls. You think he likes me? Forget if he likes you. You need male friends, not male plates. You're so yeah. right. I don't want to be wrong, Nancy. Oh, yeah. gotta get call waiting. House of I switch ears. Barb. <clears throat> hey, baby. Whoa! <laughs> Holy fuck! <laughs> hey, baby. <laughs> Who in chat's this guy? <laughs> Woo! Hey, baby. Kurt. Oh, what are you calling a Kurt. for? You called me, or. Am I answering the call of the wild? Jeez. Whoa, whoa! Yo, this dude's gonna... I couldn't help but feel the call of the wild. He's a little Johnny Bravo, isn't he? <laughs> hey, mama. I don't think I understand. You, me, and a couple of tickets to the Ice Capades. How old is this guy, huh? The Ice Capades. Ice What's there not to understand? He's sensitive okay. and he's strong. He's just like, puts it down. He's like, here's where we're going. What don't you understand about that? These are the plans. Baby. Call nice. nature. I'm sorry. That must be my deltoid rubbing up against the phone cord. The oh, this guy. It happens a lot, actually. Del dumb, you're listening to the deltoids are uh, interrupting the signal again. Oh, sorry. My uh, biceps are quivering again. <laughs> they do that. Um, they do that. <laughs> <laughs> they do that. They do that. Could you hold? Oh my gosh, it's Kurt! We'll stand on your ground. I thought he was about to start lifting weights while he's on hold. Dude, squats. <laughs> I'm gonna stand on the word, Barb. <sighs> but he's such a sweaty hunk of beefy, my. Oh, shit. He's smelling his own pheromones. You yo, see that? He's getting high off his own supply. Sup? Yo, Kurt has a whiff. <laughs> yo, Gigi Lewis, what up, dude? Kismo. <laughs> Remember what the word of God said. Remember God. Oh, come on, man. Oh, but I just wanna jump on him. But what would Jesus do? <laughs> With that Greek statue. Yes, he is working out. My man, not even being on hold is going to stop this dude. You never put life on hold. That's uh, what they do. My muscles can't be put on hold. My biceps. Hey, sorry, my, my arm's picking up the call. Can't do pick it. Pick up these, Louis. Like figure of Kurt roaming through my head. I simply can't remember. <laughs> oh my God, he just kissed No, himself. girls, don't do it. Don't fall for it. He's going to get you pregnant and go to Dallas. <laughs> Courtship, not Dayton. Courtship, not Dayton. Courtship. Oh, yeah. She heard the Jesus alarm just went off. Thanks, Nancy. Why would Jesus do? Why would Jesus do? <laughs> Hold for a moment while I roast this pig. What? What? He's he just wants smoke to smoke his hog. He just wants to hang out, dude. Holy fuck. I'm just trying to court you. Not hey. trying to date you. Hey, what do you think this is? Some type of uh, <laughs> slut shaming? Anyway. Look, Kurt, I don't think this is going to work out. I knew it. You tramp. You act all friendly like I'm going to get something out of it, and then you clam up like some holy prude. Uh, wait! <laughs> oh, my God. A clammy holy prude? <laughs> Jesus is holy clam. <laughs> oh, my God, dude. <laughs> Kurt! Right there. How dare you demean my Christian beliefs because they don't care to your dog-like cravings. Whoa. You need to believe in something uh, bigger than... Oh, uh, I've never had anybody talk back to me. Dog-like? What's going on? What do you mean? What do you mean? A dog? Wait, 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 wait. What do you mean by dog-like? Dog? And your bicep, buddy. 
Who says self-worth is I... measured by how many babes you bag? Mm -hmm. I dare you to treat women well. with respect. To help and be courteous without needing anything in um, return. Um, uh, this is going the opposite way. I wanted no. it to go. <laughs> I should have called her a tramp. Oh no, how can I bounce back? Uh, to shut your friends up when they talk dirty uh, and to stand for something I... holy. I dare you to see a woman as a sister. Uh, I don't care what uh, you think or what you say. I will stand for what I believe and make healthy friendships with the rest of my single life. That is what being a woman of substance is all about. A word I'm quite certain you can't understand. Get it, girl! And not just because that's more than four letters. I'm going to stay in love with my God. In the meantime, I dare you to be a man. Just say that every time a man uh, wow. forces himself on you. Got him. Get him with the God act. Have that whole script memorized. She had the Holy Scripture down to the bullet points, that's, man. There's a scripture in there for that Woo! House of Barb. So, how'd it go? Kurt. What is she wearing? Is that a the onesie? Snuggie? This, this, this snuggie, She's wearing dude. 80 Snuggies? <laughs> She's wrapped up tight like a straight jacket. Yeah, That's it's just a plan. chastity <laughs> Snuggie. <laughs> so back to where, we're, where we were. Uh, Corinthians, whatever. 420. Peace Psalms. <laughs> <laughs> Peace Psalms 469. Hey, you know what? Uh, I think uh, Kirk was uh, a sweaty beefcake. <clears throat> and I think, uh, you know what? If uh, if the call of nature uh, is ringing, you, sometimes it's okay to pick up as long as you're safe and consensual. Hot take. She didn't want any. Of that. Well, she did, but she can't. She wanted, but she can't. It's courtship, not dating. He's too much, man. Yes, I am a model. Oh, boy. What is that? Can't you hover over? How come sometimes you hover over in the autoplay? Sometimes you don't, you know? Maybe it's because we're in such a dark corner of the internet. And I think it's, it's not going to do it. Maybe the video length, maybe. <clears throat> I don't know. I'm sure there's some reasoning for it. That's Cheryl for you. God, this is bizarre, huh? I love this. Buttheads? You guys butt want buttheads? Butt let buttheads be buttheads. It's not autoplay. There's no title. I hope that the following video will inspire you. Can you hear this? Shortly it's after very I quiet. Seen MTV I don't know if you guys can hear it. I got it as loud as it'll go. A promotion with MTV, requiring folks to watch the channel each afternoon for a chance to win prizes. It's low, yeah, it's low well, for me that too. that really bothered me a lot. And after the next half hour, you'll understand why. Wait a minute. The brouhaha surrounding Beavis and Butthead's dabblings and pyromania may seem like little more than a small bump in the already very rocky road of pop culture. The problem has been fixed, the media pundits would say, so let DC Gatto's out of control. Yo! DC Gatto, popping off. What up, dude? Don't worry about Kirk. His games will never say no to him. The swole life is forever. I'll see you at the gym, brother. <laughs> <laughs> it's courtship, not dating, brother. It's courtship. It's courtship. It's courtship. Nobody you know talks to me that dead. way. DC gotta let's hit the gym, dude. I need someone to help me do these squats. It looks like someone needs to re renovate this house of Barb. <laughs> Lay some pipes. Bump it. Dude, thank you so much, DC Gato. Oh! Much love, it's dude. Boys oh. be boys and buttheads be buttheads. This one's got, MTV can this be one's like got such shitty Russian audio. Roulette. You never know when the gun's going to go off. I don't know if you saw the show last night. No, well now it's showing like MTV stuff. Think we'll get in trouble for this? Um, what the hell is maybe. this? Maybe. Often relies heavily. Whoa, 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 whoa! Okay. whoa. I don't know if we. I don't know if we can... uh, this is a non-sexual stream. Non-sexual. I don't know if we can watch this one, dude. It's showing a lot of MTV clips. Oh, yeah. Beavis and Butthead. Yeah, we can't show. Okay, that. hold on. We'll skip this one. I don't know what was going on there. Chill, everybody relax. What did you? I, I didn't see anything. You guys didn't see anything either. Okay, it was just a uh, uh, love making. Everybody love, it just, was love. Just, you know, just relax. It's fine. We're gonna hang some doors. I actually kind of want to see that. What? We're gonna hang some doors. <laughs> Where do you right see? Right below. It? I'm a model. <laughs> <laughs> Let's hang some doors. Hey, you guys are ra uh, hung doors. Fucking awesome. Oh, this music's insane. <laughs> Woodworkers. Hell yeah, brother. Some good old stuff. <laughs> Going in that piano. 
Welcome to How to Hang Doors. <laughs> this instructional video to show you the tools and techniques for hanging doors. <laughs> oh, my God. This, this right here, if aliens are living amongst us, <laughs> I feel like this is what they look like. Oh, the blend right in, brother. Like this. It looks like his face is just like a rubbery, you know what I mean? Like it goes into a collared shirt and he goes, I am also a human being. I feel like a lot of chat people's, uh, you know, have a dad or a grandpa that's just like this. Yeah, but it's like when he talks, his nose bounces. I don't know if there's really a nose in there. Like he's an alien, dude. <laughs> I think this is from outer space. Sugar water. Yeah, dude. <laughs> With the hat, like I'm, oh, yeah. I'm totally a human. I'm Bob Johnston. And today we're here, Bob Justin. here at Harrison Smith Homes, Albuquerque, New Mexico, and we're going to hang some doors. Damn, it makes me want to watch um, King of the Hill. <laughs> oh, yeah, man. <laughs> well, I tell you what, Boomhauer. I'm not an actor, but I've been a carpenter for over 25 Carpenters. years. Most of my experience has been in trim carpentry and hanging doors. I know. Now we're going to go to work, and we hope you enjoy the show. <laughs> show? <laughs> I hang door and door <laughs> <laughs> Door knobs. <laughs> Door trim, door what? jams. Some windows have, some doors have windows on them. This one's a, a hollow core door. Some doors have traps on the bottom. Bugs don't get in. This is an exterior door. Sometimes I'll put weather tape in down. This here's one of them Bastard. half doors and <laughs> Dutch doors. <laughs> and now we're here's the door accessories. <laughs> At the job site, we're going to hang some doors. Doors. I haven't accepted any money from any tool company for any production calls. Yo, for this my video. man cannot be slipping. This is not a hashtag ad. This is all just a man and his tools. My recommendations are mine alone. <laughs> yeah. The reason I use these tools is because they're the best I can buy. I've had this gun about a year and a half and shot approximately a half a million nails through it Whoa, with that's no a problem. Lot. Damn. It's got to fucking count. It's keeping yeah, count. Yeah, he's, he's got the notch for every confirmed. Confirmed door hang. <laughs> That's a successful one right there, brother. <laughs> the sad day where he puts it in, it's just not working, and he just can't get a notch in that day. Door didn't go in today. 21 door jams to boot. Door just wouldn't hang today. A lot of finished nailers, after they shot two to 400,000 nails, require a $100 to $150 overhaul. Senko will major this tool for about $35. And now we're going to hang some doors. Nice. Fuck Today yeah. we're gonna hang a swinging door, a bifold door, and a bypass door. What? <laughs> then you go ahead and nail the door all the way around. Yeah! Now that we have our door set, because of the time factor today, we're gonna go ahead and nail this door off with a nail gun. Hell yeah! Here comes the nail oh, gun, boys. Oh, this is the best part! Here comes the nail gun, boys. Sometimes you gotta get low. I've been hanging doors for 25 years. And in a good day, I can hang approximately 60 to 70 pre-hung door units. Well, that's a lot. But if I have to go buy all the parts and assemble them, I'm lucky if I hang 12 to 15 units in a day. That's still a lot. When you go to a- Man, this guy put 14 doors up in your house. <laughs> One day? Jesus. And he's complaining about buying them all. He's like, I would have done 60 in your house, but I had to <laughs> buy the parts and assemble them. God damn, that's a lot, man. I don't need any more doors, man. <laughs> A door company and buy doors. <laughs> and doors, just the perfect word for that accent, huh? Doors. The best type of doors are the ones. <laughs> best type of doors. Tell me about the best doors. Oh, he's dude. got some good door stories, let me tell you, man. With three hinges. Three hinges. The two hinge doors leaves a lot of work to be done right here in the center mm -hmm. in alignment. Your mm -hmm. door can rub mm -hmm. and a lot of other stuff. The three hinge doors are way the best doors. Dole. We hope you enjoyed the show. <laughs> we'll look forward to seeing you in our next video on exterior doors. Oh, Thank yeah. You. Oh, we're going outside. Fuck yeah, bitch. Doors. We're going outside. Doing out in the nature. Bob. Big Bob John. <laughs> cool shot. Oh my god, that was incredible. I love is it. Is it a whole series? <laughs> I want more doors. This anime is sick. Yeah. Tight. I fucking hope it's a whole series, man. You ain't an actor. Three hingers or get the fuck out. Dude. 
um, this channel, dude. My God. Oh, this is a treasure trove. Oh my God. Beautifulness. I love it. I'm gonna like that video. Look, look how cool it is when you like something. See the. How do you feel? Fucking good. Feels good. Pass, you know, some love around, you know. Yeah. When there's good content, it needs to get the recognition it deserves. Mr. Honeydew, thank you for put finding this stuff, dude. This is incredible. What's the normal American family? I'm kind of interested. Normal American family. Quote unquote. This is weird. John spends a lot of his weekend partying. And several nights a week, stays away from home for several hours after work. Uh oh. John's ability to feel is limited to the overwhelming feelings of fear, guilt, hurt, and pain. Jeez. What a life of the party. Dude. <laughs> Seeing a correlation with these mullet guys and some <laughs> behavior issues. Examples of things that John says to Mary What'd you do with all the money? <laughs> Where did you do all the money? What'd you do? What you did all the money? What'd you do with all the money? <laughs> Every word didn't know how to come out. What'd you do with all the money? What'd you do with all the money? All you do is sit around and ball. I am ball. Open your mouth when you speak, dude. I am ball. I am sit around and ball. Sit around and ball. What'd you do all day? I work hard all day. I just need a few drinks to relax. Oh, yeah. Things John says to his children. You kids think I'm made out of money. <laughs> Can't you do anything right? <laughs> oh my god, dude. These are amazing. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. No. That's the way it is. That's just the way it is. <laughs> Holy shit, dude. No! I don't want to hear anymore. <laughs> as long as you're in this house, you'll do as you're told. Do you mm, tell? I've heard that one before. No, daddy, no. <laughs> <laughs> Arcade X. You can't sing I'm made out of money. Here's my five bucks subscription. <laughs> what do I look like? Made of money? What do I look like, Arcade X? Like I'm made of money? I've been streaming all day. <laughs> but honey, if you would just call. I worry about you when you're late. If you loved me, you wouldn't do this. Oh. Can I get something for you? Well, what do you want me to do? What is this VHS? Things Mary says to her children. <laughs> it's just like showing dysfunctionality stuff. I don't and know. so you guys supposed to be like, oh, wow, I don't want to do that too. How to deal with this situation. What a weird. You kids are driving me out of my mind. People go with kids going, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. No, oh, yeah. Out of my mind. It's okay. Your dad just had a little too much to drink. Ooh. Ouch. He probably had to work a little late at the office. You just wait until your father gets home. Ooh. Guess what? Oh, he's got a little mullet too, dude. Look at him. God, looks just like his dad. <laughs> That's why I hate him so much. What do I look like I made him, Dad? No. Money. <laughs> no. No. Mini pops. Yeah. Oh shit. Wait, what? Uh oh. He's like giving his kids a talking to with the bottle. He's pointing with the Tito's. Spilling it on him as he's just Hey, up. I'm popping off on my pop off vodka. You'll do as you're goddamn told in this house. What am I made of money? <laughs> Dad's drinking again. You know how mom reacts. Don't tell her. It'll only upset her. We don't want to wake up dad, so so be quiet. We need to clean up the house. <laughs> so be quiet. Be quiet. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? Everything will be okay. Joey is 11 years old. He's cute and special. Aww. Everyone laughs at the things Joey Aww, does, Joey. but that they would get into trouble for doing themselves. Joey's theme song, All the World Loves a Clown. Joey's only good feelings come when he makes other people laugh. Oh, oh. Just, hit you with the, just hit you with the hot sauce. The hot sauce and the squirt gun. Oh, dude. He's a clown. Squirt, squirt. Take that, Mom. Yo, Kenny in the house. Yo, oh, what up, dude? What up, Kenny? Yo, Bro. Kenny, did you see at Games Fest? They're teasing um, Bug Riders remake. Oh, God. So the Bug Riders lore is all about... 
So the thing with the, so the, 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 but the thing with Bug Rider's lore is the best part about it is when we start getting into the uh, the, the, the Beatles. The Beatles, what they do is they. Congressional meeting of bugs and bugs. Wow. <laughs> I'm getting tired of work, 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 and no play. And oh yeah, right. You're so selfish. You don't have any time for us. Well, it's my right. And I'm gonna take it. <laughs> it's my right. And I'm gonna take it. <laughs> Uh, right now, Kenny, we're looking at weird, <laughs> random corner of the internet VHS tape rips. There's some beautiful, uh, beautiful stuff in this bleak corner of the internet. I deserve it. What makes you so special, huh? Mary well, I'm old enough to be getting ready to retire, and the kids are going to be in school forever and ever yet. I'll never get caught up. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, man. This guy's crazy. <laughs> I'm ready to retire and quit damn, all that singing. I'm trying to argue over here. Damn kids keep going to school <laughs> kids, and they don't stop going to school. The kids be going to school <laughs> forever and ever. Why, when are they going to stop going to school? Well, I'm old enough to be getting ready to retire and the kids are going to be in school forever and ever yet. I'll never get caught up. I'll never get to go out and have my fun. Not my fault. Oh, that's oh yeah, good. just fade to black on that one. Oh, that speaks volume. Just fade to black. No. <laughs> this was the best, dude. Look, 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 I made a money. What'd you do with all the money? All you do is sit around and ball. What'd you do all day? I work hard all day. I just need a few drinks to relax. Things John says to his children. <laughs> you kids think I'm made out of money. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. You kids think I'm made of money. Made of money. Oh, Humans man. in action. Well, be good. 14 points of light. Anytime there's like light, I feel like it's going to be like a Christianity. I think it's going to touch on, you know, God's uh, way of uh, leading the the, the, sh the shepherd and the, and, the, and the, you know what I'm saying? How much is the rent? It's $500 a month. Is there a lease? Yes, there is a one-year lease. Are utilities included? Water is included, but gas and electricity are not. Wait, is this how to be a human being? <laughs> I think this is, is literally... Hello, human. Yep. Is this place for rent? This is for exactly what I said earlier. This is for people, um, aliens living amongst us. Yes. I have a new job. How much does it pay? It pays $300 a week. Very Wait, good. Wow, are... whoa. Wow the hours the hours are from 2 to 11 p.m. not very good it's good enough I'm happy what the what fuck am I what is happening here what are you doing I'm reading the classified ads what are you looking for I'm looking for a job don't you have a job yes I have a job but I want a better job I want better hours and better pay oblivion dialogue <laughs> yeah dude <laughs> Maybe it's learning English? Maybe? What do you like to do? It's a mostly how to be an annoying question asking fool. Yeah. What do you like to do? How is that? How is it going? That's nice. Wow. What do, you, what do you do? What do you do? I like to watch TV. Do you like to go out to the movie theater? No, I don't like to go. This is like the tape they sent out into space in case aliens find yes, it. Yes, yes. It's on that like golden uh, that uh, record that uh, Carl Sagan shot into the sun or whatever the fuck. <laughs> Fucking high-powered and uh, super, I hijacked a t-shirt gun and <laughs> put a bunch of <laughs> earthly artifacts and I uh, sent it off into the billions and billions of stars. Go out, I like to stay at home. Does Anna like to read books? No, she doesn't. She likes to do things with her friends. Does she like to play cards? Yes, she likes to play cards and listen to the music. Also, she likes to go to parties. Mm -hmm. This is what very do do? like Neil Breen-esque dialogue. Do you want to go out or stay at home? It's definitely speak English tutorial. Thing, yeah, I yes. <laughs> I want to go out. Do you want to go out to eat? Okay. <laughs> if we talked like this, God damn. Oh, that'd be great. You guys are robots. <laughs> Let's go out to eat at a restaurant. Yes, we should. Have you seen my son? What does he look like? <laughs> He's very young, short, and a little stocky. What's his name? His name is Mark. Fred. Look for a bitch ass <laughs> fucking name Mark. Looking for a fat kid named Mark. Mark ass motherfucker named Mark. <laughs> <laughs> my name's Harry. Fat, <laughs> fat kids and stocky. 
Looking for a fat little motherfucker named Mark. <laughs> Looking for fat Mark. And this is my wife, Betty. Hi, Harry. Hi, Betty. Hi, Hi Betty. Hi, Harry. Hi, Betty. I'm Dan, and this is my wife, Mary. And that's our daughter, Sarah. And those are our two sons, Tim and Tom. Hello, kids. Tim and Tom. Are you sure they're your kids? <laughs> Alicia, is Raphael your brother? Yes, Tina, he is. And Linda is my sister. Is Raphael tall? Yes, he's tall. But my sister Linda is short. Is Raphael thin? Yes, oh he is thin. Oh, my God. Linda's thin, yeah, too. Yeah, because I remember watching these in Spanish class. Yeah. Mi hermano estas. And you're like, oh, okay. I gotcha. Muy bien. Muy bien. Abajo. Izquierda. Wow. Derecha. Uh, it's porn without all the sex. Yeah, the best the best parts is the dialogue. Let's see. Join us at the bread house. It looks scary. Halloween night power prayer explosion. <laughs> <laughs> Where do you see that at one? At the very bottom, it's a guy raising his hands to the sky. <laughs> oh he's casting Halloween a, night he's, power prayer explosion. He's casting a spirit ball. Oh, the guy below him looks sick. Okay, we can't get ahead. Let's go by the road. Okay, okay, so, okay, okay. Join us at the bread house. I have to see what this Weeder is. Sweeter than honey, any honey, all the honey ever could eat the bread of life. Come and join us at the bread house. Oh, taste This is frightening. Can I ask you a question? Sure. I mean, a question about dying. Wonder Dog, in that bread house, you can ask any question that you want. What? Well, you know when your husband died? Mm-hmm. What? I really missed him. Oh, my I God. I too. Jesus. <laughs> this could be a fun Christmas party. This kid's like, this is very awkward. Remember how your husband died? That was sad. He died very tragically and sudden, right? Never got to say goodbye, did you? Oh, it must be so sad. <laughs> He sucks. It I is. want gingerbread. I hate puppets. Mm -hmm. uh, hey, Ginger. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, can, can I ask another question? I don't know. Is it about my deceased husband? Yes. Well, <laughs> yes. Sure. You know, when they put his body down in the... Oh, my God, you <laughs> fucking weird dog. I, I, I should have put the dog down. <laughs> oh, my God. This is real. This is real. <laughs> Hold on. What does he ask? Body down in the, the ground. Yes. That bothers me. But Wonder Dog, the body is not any good anymore. Oh my God. It's not. It's starting to decay. Jesus Christ. And she's the one doing the voice. <laughs> she's the one having the conversation with herself. I think this is like her way of dealing with it. <laughs> but she's dragging all these she kids into kids it. She invited kids over to do it. You're kidding, like fall apart? Ugh! Like the flesh off the bone <laughs> and maggots and worms are eating the flesh? Right. The body was working <laughs> and his spirit had left. It had? Mm-hmm. William Lee. Wait, what the what? fuck is that centerpiece? This uh, Elden Ring uh, <laughs> hand? <laughs> what? This might be a cursed video. Oh, it's like a lady bent over. It's a child in the giant hand. God's hand. God's hand. We all have a body and we have a spirit. You know, it's like my hand being inside of you. Yeah. That's your life. That's right. When I take my hand out of you, I'm dead. <laughs> well, that's that. Is she gonna kill the puppet in front of these kids? <laughs> all I'm right. Dead. I'm as good as dead. You take your hand out of my hand. Wait, wait, wait! Don't take your hand out of me. <laughs> Please, please, don't. please, I'm begging you. I don't want to be like your husband. I'm rotting in the flesh. I don't want to. I want to keep my soul. I think I figured out how her husband did it. Put your hand in him. Did you stick your hand inside your husband and then his, his life came out? The way it is. You gotta run home when your daddy calls. There's food on the table and there's plenty for all. Mashed <laughs> potatoes and cold iced tea. And kids come running home free. <laughs> what the? What is happening, dude? Mashed potatoes. <laughs> mashed potatoes and ice cream. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? Oh, Let me see that song again. <laughs> There's mashed potatoes and cold iced tea. <laughs> what the? <laughs> 
fuck? Two dudes come running home free, home free, home free. What is this thing? What the fuck are we watching? Home free, Ash Potato. Sus, dude. Oh, fuck. She's fucked. <laughs> She's so fucked up. Dude, the Hank Hill fucking. <laughs> Fresh potatoes and cold ass tea. <laughs> oh, I'm free. Oh, I'm free. Oh, it hurts. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Oh my god. Uh, sing fuck. about mashed potatoes. Oh, uh, Jesus. I haven't laughed this hard in a long time. Last time I laughed this hard was the Strangers oh. of Paradise trailer. The retro edit of this move, of this VHS is pure horror, right? This oh is god. a horror edit, man. After my daddy died, I had a terrible dream. Oh my god. What was it? I couldn't tell what it was about. It was just kind of a pulley, awful, ugly feeling. And I would have it over and over. You know. What the fuck is wrong with this lady? This is bizarre, man. Do we're... not have your kids go to like your neighborhood's family, dude. Just stay home. Chat, we're in a weird part of the internet now. Weeds, they come up and we have to pull them out. <laughs> and we take them out. You know, we could uh, stick go them in back here. real quick. Yeah, yeah. This is probably coming up later. I can, I can yeah. kind of tell. But look by her leg. Ooh. You see that? Is that her a, husband? It's an alien. Oh, God, oh, no. no. Mashed potatoes <laughs> and cold ass tea. <laughs> the gingerbread man. And we take them out. You know, we could stick them in here. Yeah. And remind, and that'd remind you that That's an urn, sometimes dude. weeds get in our heart. And we have to pull them out. Oh, and they oh, mess oh. up a bouquet. Justin, quit with the boner noise. <laughs> I'm not doing the boner sounds. I don't have that. I'm stun locked. Alder, our heart. Wizzy, what up, dude? Thank you, man. Sir. Statum, Seth, thank you, guys. Queef the door. Do you ever feel sad? Dirt turtle. Sure. When kids make fun of me, you don't think it feels good, now it? Why would kids make fun of you? Oh, this kid's so bored. He's like, I'd rather be dead. God, I just feel so bad for some of these kids, man. He wants to get out of here so bad. Because I talk funny. Well, are you just pretending? No, I've learned it one. You can't talk like we do? I can't. I'm trying and I'm trying. I can't. Do you know why the skeleton crossed the road? Uh oh. Don't answer to get revenge on his wife who killed <laughs> to, him. <laughs> to seek revenge on society. Because there weren't any dinosaurs. To get to the body shop. <laughs> okay, well, it seems to me okay. that the skeleton should be looking for a body. Those mashed potatoes should be done right about now. Just waiting for good old dad to scream out that tasty, tasty <laughs> phrase. To ring that triangle and go, mashed potatoes and cold ice tea. In heaven. Now I lay me down to sleep. Is that right? Mm -hmm. oh. I pray, O oh Lord, my soul to keep. If I should die. Oh, my God. Sir! Yo, John, thank you, dude. Yo, Lamb Chop year. has seen some better days, dude. Oh. I pray, O oh Lord, my soul, you will kiss Don't kiss it. Do not kiss it. Oh, my, oh my God. God, 
dude, this is bizarre. Oh, mashed potatoes. I got to hear that part one more time. Mashed potatoes and cold This was seeds. the weirdest thing I've ever seen. There's food on the one table more. and there's plenty for all. There's mashed potatoes and cold iced tea. And kids come running home free. Home free. <laughs> For that sweet Austin. All right. I picked out a good one. Okay. That was a good one, man. I, I didn't. You, you know, we almost skipped it. Hard to beat that. It's uh, That was incredible. Wow. Um, Ross Perot. Uh, Ross Perot. He ran Ross for Perot. president as the uh, you know, third party so candidate against George Bush. <laughs> okay. Um, sexual addiction workshop. Nice. I want to do bumper cars with somebody. Sure. Is this not going to be music? It might be a music thing. I don't know. It's not going to be a music video, is it? Big sub. Oh, my God. There's mashed potatoes. <laughs> Human potato thing you do. What a combo. Mashed Human potatoes. potatoes. Mashed potatoes and cold iced tea. Mm, just a big plate of mashed potatoes. So fucking... <laughs> hey, children, guess what we're having for dinner? Oh, these just potatoes. mashed potatoes. These potatoes are hot. You know what it could go with? <laughs> Yo! Video karaoke. Ooh, this is nice. I think it's a karaoke version of uh, I Wanna Dance with Somebody. I wanna bump a car with somebody. Yeah, I mean, you know. With some bumper cars. Show me how mashed potatoes and cold iced tea. Oh, I want mashed potatoes with somebody. I want to drink some iced tea with somebody. <laughs> with somebody who's dead. <laughs> with her dead husband. Oh, I had a bad dream. <laughs> The Miracle Mum? She walks with faith. Um, fit for him? Whoa. Oh my god, it's gonna be like fitness for Jesus. Cool. Christ fitness. And now, a sit up for Christ, and another, and another. Hi, my name is Jamie Wade Lewis, <laughs> and I would like to welcome you to Fit for Him. An exercise program. The shirts are almost like death metal bandish, yes, though, aren't they? Yes, dude. It's like a black metal version <laughs> of like a workout tee. He lifts, therefore he is ripped. Yes. <laughs> Amen. That's how he got so jacked, man. Every rep. Oh, Amen. Oh, I want that Amen. shirt. Does anyone have this shirt they can give me? Fit for him. Coming live. <laughs> live and I, I... Graham, that... Oh, my God. Look at this. It's like nice. toads. <laughs> oh. Get ripped! The Lord inspired me with. Do you want to go up behind her and spray paint red circles? <laughs> with over what was that? Five years ago. This has been a tremendous journey as we have put forth a lot of effort to bring this program to you. But I feel extremely honored and blessed by God that He has chosen all of us to put an exercise program together Damn it, that chat. will allow us all to become <laughs> fit for Him. Give me the chorus! When I need a helping hand, good on the Savior I can walk it up. Hallelujah and back. Oh man, it's like church square dancing. Wow, Jesus. church fitness. The video you're going to notice a lot of your favorite gospel artists are with us: mm -hmm. Becky and Lily Isaacs, Who? Mary Alice Lovelace, Who? Deborah and Lauren Tapp. Strong and secure, built on the rock, steadfast and sure. Uh -huh. Strong. Did not burn in anything going like this. Especially when you didn't remember the boobs. <laughs> <laughs> We're eating after this, right? Yeah. We're going to the hometown buffet after this. Journey to become fit for him. Father, we thank you for this. Nice. Nice, dude. Who let these guys in? Good job. Get it, those... Deacon. 
you that we would become spiritually fit for you. We ask these things in your name. Oh, Amen. it's not a muscle fitness. It's a spiritual fitness. Oh, you got to you got to exercise your spiritual muscles. Yeah, that one guy. I got it. You're not supposed to get thin. <clears throat> that one guy earlier is going to buy this. Go, what the fuck? I was trying to get ripped. Yeah, yeah. This isn't <clears throat> to get your body jacked. This is about getting your spirit jacked. Oh my God! Raise your faith instead. Okay, let's see here. The Mad Prophet. Nah. Uh, imagine your favorite celebs on golf courses. Eh. But then it's like I don't know. Maybe Jackie Gleason. Uh, the gals go for the grand. Could be good. We don't know, man. We haven't seen any of these. Mary Kay 30th anniversary celebration. Isn't Mary Kay like another Mary like Kay, pyramid right? scheme? Yeah. Oh, it's a pyramid? Yeah, it's a pyramid scheme, right? This is a great way to start Mary Kay, right? Let's go! All right, here we go! We are going for the grand, go do it! Everybody clap your hands, go to it! Wow. We are going for the grand, go do it! Everybody Oh, makeup, multi-level yeah. marketing. Yeah. Ruined how many lives? <laughs> Countless. <clears throat> I feel like a queen. I feel pampered. Something that I don't get at home. Uh, I have a wonderful uh, husband, but I also have two kids, so this is not reality at all. The Adolphus is beautiful. Chocolates on the pillow every night, uh, and a big fluffy robe, and uh, um, truffles handed to us when we um, just got just to the hotel. High tea in the lobby. Cold <laughs> iced tea. <laughs> Oh, Bring up mashed potatoes. <laughs> yes, sir, but the bell not took me to my room. Ooh, lap of luxury. Look at this. Yeah, this is a sick room. Wow. The the fucking skirt on the bed. Yeah. Oh, Big flowery like, duvet. I'm rich. <laughs> I'm rich. Elegant dining. The food was great. The atmosphere. Of, you know, the flowers and the wow. tables. And, oh, it's, it's been a great time. I don't know that I've ever eaten so French well fries. consistently for three days. My offspring, Greg. For Jeez. three days? Keep that food coming, dude. She's never eaten food for more than three days. Cool cult. I had one, a trip one time before, and she told me they're really... Oh, shit. Yeah, they're eating good, dude. They're going to yeah. treat you like the royalty. the pantapinis. That's what they're doing in the back. Like, yeah. Fatten them up and they'll buy. Well, come back for more. Fatten them up and they'll buy anything. And they really have. And I don't know what it's going to go back to have to eat three ordinary meals a day after all this royal treatment here. <laughs> Pasta and olives. We're seeing corporate headquarters, I think, going through and seeing all the beautiful buildings and everybody working there. It made you all alive. Learning the insights on all the little things happening in the company. <laughs> New product and things. <laughs> Yeah, this what? looks weird, man. It was just something I really can't put into words. As it's much. an experience of a lifetime. <laughs> Music's great. You can do it! Everybody's got short hair bobs, huh? Power bobs. Yeah, that's a, that's a cult right there, boys. Don't be brain sucked in that one. I'll, I'll ruin a few families, and they're going to have to watch that uh, American film. No! <laughs> what do I look like? I'm made of money cold pizza slice like a cold glass of iced tea yeah, Mary Kay okay Did someone say latkes for all your Levi's and Wrangler needs another rap session with the teens this one has a thousand views this one would be good it looks uh, insane it's good thumbnails on these man look at that I can't tell what's going on seven minutes seven minutes uh oh Maybe I shouldn't watch this one, chat. Uh-oh. <laughs> one million? Yeah, right, you fucker. One million? Give me a snippet. Just a clip. Them boys of mine is... <laughs> okay, no one's paying a million dollars for this. <laughs> million? <laughs> oh. Well, that's black gold. Now will you buy some of them Levi's 557 jeans? Wait, yeah. what? Oh. The Levi's ad? Yeah. I'm hankering for some of them Levi's 557 jeans. We'll get paid now. Who's I... shitting on these boys? <laughs> Did you quit fooling around with that contraption? What the fuck this is, is so this? weird. And it's a brand that I'm mighty proud of. You know, Paul, I know what brand I'm proud of. Yeah, Paul, music. that brand is... Ding, 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 ding. Paid. Ain't likely. Okay. Today is Saturday, boys. 
Let's get in that crick and clean up a little before we go in and try on some of those Levi 5.5s. Five five <laughs> okay. All right, boys. Time to get all sudsy and clean so we can wear clothes. So everyone get in the tub and <laughs> get they, they, don't, don't be shy. Did somebody say latkes? I did. You did? I did. What's a Hanukkah? I know that. It's Jewish Christmas. Well, uh -oh. Kathy Joe, that's not quite right. As a matter of fact, that's not at all right. Cool well, voice. Well, let me show you how to play drill. Oh, God, there's a puppet. <laughs> what? There's a puppet. Who's got some guilt? What's guilt? I know. Guilt is when you've done something bad, and you know it, and you feel really bad about it. No, Kathy Joe. Hey, hey, what do you say? What do you say? Let's play dreidel. Oh, <laughs> yes! Yeah. Yo, the original Beyblade. Let's play Beyblade, spin it around. Hey, what are those funny those pants? Yo, yo, yo. Did someone the, say latkes? That the blue tiger guy was the king of Fupa, but my God. Hoopa King over here. Whoa, what are these? <laughs> Beyblade energy. Oh, yeah, what's going on? You didn't explain what's on the plate here. Oh! Unnamed hero. They were the two years, dude. Plus, I just 29 months. <laughs> Hot mashed potatoes, cold ice tea on me. <laughs> I knew this was going to be a good stream. Flapjacks. Those aren't flapjacks. They're hash browns. They aren't hash browns. They aren't flapjacks. They're latkes. Latkes? Latkes. Latkes? Latkes? Latkes. I love latkes. Not a little, but a lot of latkes. I love making latkes. I love <laughs> eating latkes. I love latkes. <laughs> Have you been in the... Uh, Have you ever had latkes? a latke? Yeah, it's like a hash brown. Oh. Like a hash brown the shape of a, you know, pancake. Mm. Back this whole time. Yes, I've been making latkes with Mozart. I love making latkes. Latkes, latkes, <laughs> I love latkes. Not a little, but a lot of latkes. Latkes, latkes, I love latkes. Not a little, but a lot. Not a little, but a latka. You know what I mean? That was sick. Gotta have a latka, a lot latkes. Rap session with teens. Hell yeah. Let's I mean, get it down, dude. Do it down for my city. If you are a teenager, or the parent of a teenager, or even just the next door neighbor of one, <laughs> you know what a minefield the teen years can be. But then why shouldn't they be? After all, at the very time we are just starting to take control of our lives, to make our own choices and decisions, we also have to contend with self-doubt and runaway hormones and a gripping need for social acceptance. Mm, Just how in the world is a kid supposed to cope with a mess like that? Yeah. I have a little bit problems like with my dad and stuff. If he would loosen up and say, you know... Cut back to the guy from uh, before. No. No. Well, well, I'm I'm like money. I'm made of money. It doesn't matter what you look like because he feels a little bit hostile towards the way I look. He does not like it at all. I can't. I mean, what? you had because if you're gonna have a party, you either have alcohol or you find something else for him to do. Yeah. And I said, Mom, you know, there's, there's nothing really. I, I don't want to have a party because I don't want to take the responsibility. She says, Well, why don't you have a, a game party? Everyone bring their favorite game. Or why don't you have a tape party? Everyone bring their favorite tape. And I mean, there's, there's got to be something better than that. You know, when I'm dressed up, you know, this is, I'm, this is as dressed up as I've been in a long time. And, like, I just, <laughs> I just gotta work. Where's the rapping at? I want to see uh, the Yeah, rapping. I thought there was going to be, like, they're, they're having, like, a sesh. But I'm like, I, oh, I want to hear hip-hop rap. All right, okay. So I, so, I look, so, I look, so I look like a punk, you know? I got my tattoos and everything, and they think Whoa. I'm a partier, you know? <laughs> I'll tell you what we're going to do before we take that hill. We're going to shoot a little heroin. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, dude. Yeah, our principal's cool. He's he does a, RP. <laughs> yeah, he does this like uh, John Wayne on heroin impression. It's pretty sick. It's pretty cool. Snort some. Go Cowboys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, come on. Coke and maybe suck on a few joints. Hey, retard. Whoa, bad word. Hey, mongoloid. Bad word. <laughs> Maybe we should watch this one. <laughs> this word. guy's weird, man. I don't know. I don't think he's the principal. I think someone just let a random guy up on the stage. This is a bad man. We don't condone such talk. It's terrible. Bad man. He's an evil, evil bad man. He needs to go. He needs to go right now. Bad RP. Fail RP. You know what? He could use a little bit of mashed potatoes and cold iced tea. All right, moving on. <laughs> no, Hi, weirdo. <laughs> Satanist hunters? Whoa. They hunt the evildoers. Whoa. 
That's kind of tight. Halloween night power prayer. We're getting there. We'll do it next. We'll do it next. We'll do it next. <laughs> As you can see, it's a real it's remote very, area. It's difficult to get to. Very difficult. Oh, this is where they're hiding? Oh my god, this is actual like, VHS footage of finding a bunch of like Satanist kids hanging out? Well, this out. might be a cursed video. Inside America has investigated several apparent satanic ceremonial sites around the country, finding Whoa. symbols used in ritual ceremonies. Oh! There's a sentence or two words. Written. The cult of the fucking lizard. Oh. What the fuck is this? All right, this is too cursed. Now you know. Jew was in a little town. The rest of the story. Okay, <laughs> let, let's do the power prayer, Halloween night, super prayer, spirit bomb explosion. Yeah, I, was, I was hoping for more Halloween themes rather than like <laughs> homeless people <laughs> eating out of the trash. Power <laughs> prayer explosion. Larry Lee has called praying Christians from all denominations and backgrounds to join him in Candlestick Park. Is this another Petey Pop Off? I think it's a Peter Pop Off like. Whoa. An evening of intercessory prayer to pull down spiritual strongholds and see many come into a saving knowledge of Jesus Christ. Tonight, you'll hear special music from the Grammy award-winning gospel group, The Winans, plus the dramatic testimony of former warlock Eric Fryer. Former warlock? Wait, what? Former warlock. Oh, my God. Real warlock? Holy fuck. Succubus and all that? Uh, yeah, Boyd so, uh, yes, I had a demonic pact for uh, several years. Uh, I, I swore my life to uh, preserving and empowering myself through uh, demonic uh, ways. My uh, Void Walker could tank. It was so strong and powerful. I would perform dots like <laughs> Incinerate Halloween and Shadow Word Bane. A celebration of the enemy, and to have Larry Lee come on Halloween is, is quite a contrast to that. On a night that most people are... Doing the opposite. Oh, this is Halloween um, night. In worshiping the devil, we're here to worship the Lord. We came to Brian Cranston. Oh, Brian. Pray. Breaking bad. <laughs> <laughs> Breaking bad. Yeah, praying bad. And break down strongholds. Want to see a breakthrough in the Bay Area? Wow, that looks just like him, huh? What? Isn't that a trip? Christians should focus their attack against Satan on their knees. Whoa. Whoa. Dude, I don't know voice. about all that. Dude's voice is crazy. Attack against attack sounds like Doug Funny. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's like Billy, Billy West. It's like Billy West. They should focus their attack against Satan on their knees. Attack against Satan on their knees. The first time I saw Eric Pryor was on television as he was taking a dagger. And stabbing oh, it oh, through. Oh, careful. Yeah, I don't know what they're going to show here. And saying oh. these words. Oh, it's like a ceremonial dagger. He's doing okay. a ceremonial dagger. The Christians better know how to pray because I know how to curse. Oh, he was Ooh. doing like a ceremonial curse with his dagger. Oh. I present to you tonight a man who has been saved by the grace of God. Eric, I want you and Pastor Dick Burnell. Dick Burn? Dick Burn, dude. From Jubilee Pastor Christian Dick Center Burn. in San Jose to come on down. San Jose in the house. What did you feel when you walked into that meeting? You're like Rorschach. There's a warlock. You're like Rorschach vibes. Oh, yeah, you're right. Yeah. Meeting with about eight or 9,000 Christians praising God. What was going on in your mind last year? Well, the first thing I thought was that I was going to be burnt at the stake as a witch or something. But as I was walking into the auditorium, I could see all the spirit-filled Christians. I could feel the love. And when I looked over my shoulder, I could see all the people that I helped to rally against the body of Christ. And all I could see was the sickness and the, and the hatred and the, the death. It's not a full stadium. <laughs> I don't think there's anyone there. Oh, She's oh. there. Oh, yeah. Oh, jeez. This is on so Halloween nice. night. This is weird, man. And I ask you in the name of Jesus, I am sober, and you will still what? be ugly. Can't pray that away. Oh, weird, man. Weird. Some of these are going to be weird. Weird, dude. All right, let's try to stay away from the religious ones. They just get too weird too quick. I want more mashed potatoes and cold iced tea. Brad Max in the Wild West of RC model cars. Make money using a computer? Nice. Ooh, it's like an NFT thing. Ooh. From back in the day. 
How to make money on your computer. Hello, I'm Michael Lawrence for American Business Seminars with another exciting and... <laughs> His voice is so sick. <laughs> Hello, my name is Brian Cranston. I'm here to tell you all about making money. He's doing it on purpose. It's like a South Park character. Hello. Hello. I'm Michael Lawrence for American uh, Business Seminars. Business Seminars. With another exciting and informative issue of Strategies for Success, featuring David Shammy, a self-made millionaire and one of the most dynamic speakers in America today. Totally. In this presentation, Legion, David up, offers Thank some you, very powerful financial strategies that can show you how to take charge of your future and have that lifestyle we all want and deserve. So listen Bill carefully. Bill Hader, yeah, kind of. Yeah, yeah. A business you could start out of your He's one of our most eloquent computer. speakers. By the way, how many of you have a computer? Just out of curiosity. Who's got a computer? Okay, those of you who do not own a computer, how many of you have this feeling that you should buy one, but you don't know why? <laughs> yeah, put your hands up. I mean, I know it's... Hey, 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 that yeah. feeling is created by marketing. You can blame IBM and Apple Computer for that. Fear of missing They've out, They've advertised brother. us to death and make Bomo. us all feel like we should own one. Well, you should, but not because they want you to, but because there's money in it. Now, before I can teach you how to make money with your computer, we have to understand the technology. Oh, man, oh, the no. projectors with the clear paper stuff. You're going to tell God how damn. computers work to this crowd? He's not even using a computer to do the seminar. There's people in the audience that don't even have computers. <laughs> okay, so let, let me put this diagram down so we can better understand it together. <laughs> Here uh, you have your central processing unit. There you have, suckers. Unit. You're all uh, full your of shit. Your application software, your floppy disk, and your backup system. <laughs> <laughs> ha I actually don't have a computer or anything to sell you folks. <laughs> I got all your money, no <laughs> refunds. You to have one. Send check or money order to American Send Business Seminar, order. 2501 North Canyon Road, Suite 100, <laughs> Provo, send Utah, us, uh, your buddy right away. Please send us your buddy. <laughs> Chipmunks. No. No. Inspires the gals. Gals gonna be uh, multi-level marketing. Rad sure. Max and the Wild Dude, it World. Dude, looks so sick. RC models. Let's do it. Yes. How rad could he be? <laughs> nice day for a drive. <laughs> yeah, dude. Yo! He's pretty rad, dude. Yo, this guy's sick. Nice day for a drive. Nice day for a drive. Yay. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, right. oh. When RC Wheeling Wizards Jim Christensen and his buddies get together once a month, oh, these are sick. These are this is like the gas powered ones. Yeah. Fun for fun. It's a guaranteed good time. And when they compete every three months for bucks, well, then it's like a prelude to for World bucks. War III. I'm saying these boys are serious. RC model cars. What a grin. Located what? in the land of sunshine and palm trees, Orlando, Florida is home for the racetrack that set new precedents for racers and factory Whoa. participation. With some mini meets paying 50000 in prize money. Damn. Fifty thousand dollars? That's Radical. a lot of money. If road racing doesn't get you up, you might want to consider getting down in the dirt. Oh. With similar chances, oh. down in the dirt. Oh, I know how he plays, brother. Dr. Chocula dropping a tier two. To their Let's go. Relatives, these Appreciate you, man. Sugar hype you as well, dude. Thank you, man. Wheel drive. Knobby tires and a trail tackling ability only uh, top Look at that. by an occasional <laughs> mini monster truck. Man, I'd hate to get in that kid's way. Ten scale off road is also the most kid intensive class in RC wheels today, delivering the best fun for the money ratio available. With some cars carrying a sticker price of less than a hundred bucks, complete Damn. with radio oh, and 50K batteries. Fifty k off of that. See your hobby store clerk for details. Just tell him Rad Max sent you. Damn, look at Rad oh. Max, dude. Let's go! Who the fuck is that? <laughs> Couch potato question. RC doesn't need radio control or remote control. And is there a difference? They both. 
Who's the drunk guy on the <laughs> at the junkyard? Are they gonna kiss? Both jam on similar jobs. They let you do at a distance and manage remote manipulation. After that, however, the similarity sours. Oh, they are. Use different. a radio control and get ready to fly through an evening of thrash. Thrash. Let's go. Let's go. Pick up a remote control oh, and get ready to balls? fly through an evening Gross. of thrash. So whether you're out there running them or just thinking about it, so the rad. wild world of radio-controlled model cars is a realistically <laughs> radical way to indulge your need for speed, even if you're just standing still. Dude, I want one so bad. Wheels. Truly outrageous. Truly. Let's go! Truly outrageous. Dude, Rad Max is so rad. He was pretty rad, honestly. I thought he, he could have been a little there. bit radder. We're all American boys? Uh, who needs Google when you have a VCR? All American boys? I were American boys. Some American boys over here. I'm proud to be an American. I'm proud to be an American. You're goddamn right. I'm proud to be an American. Oh, ladies and Saturday morning cartoon. Yes. I'm all up on in the afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. This dude. is great. All up on in the afternoon. I watch Pokemon. Friday night football. Stand up and cheer. Go where I want to go. I'm a free man here. Yeah, I'm a free man here. Hey. Yeah. I'm an American boy. <laughs> this is insane. I love Apple it. Apple pie and baseball. Oh my God, this is amazing. American boy. It's American Boy Summer. Let's go. <laughs> Driving in my Chevy, eating Not apple a pie. Pie show. <laughs> <laughs> Apple pie and baseball. <laughs> God, it's like, they probably send this overseas. Go, oh, that's what Americans do, huh? That's oh, you want to know do? what America's all about? Well, check this uh, out. Say no more. Just watch this. You'll know exactly what America's like. We're American boys wearing cargo pants. I am American. I'm an American, I'm gonna die American boy. From coast to coast, I'm an American boy. Apple pie and baseball. I'm an American boy. Break it down now. This is why you need to see Book of Mormon. Dude. I know. It's I, just like this. I can only imagine. It's like this, but like so much more. Oh, but I this know. is like a Book of Mormon experience. This is pretty awesome. Oh my god. Guitar. American style. <laughs> what the fuck where those come from? Whoa. We're making it happen. American style. Oh. You can find oh. it. It's all that we do, and we do it for you. It's all that we do. American style. Get it, boys. Hell yeah! America! Yes! 
feels. They all have violins except for one guitar. I don't know about you boys, but I got chills. I've never been so proud of my goddamn life. American boy. Apple pies and baseball. <laughs> Drive a Chevy, not a boo show. <laughs> <laughs> Carl, get your ass to church? Yeah, what do like uh, uh, non Americans <laughs> think that? Carl. <laughs> what the <laughs> hell? Carl, go to church, what man, on the tiniest me? couch? Is this? If you don't get up off of this couch right now, put your clothes on, I'm gonna snatch you off of that couch. What's going on in here, Carl? Why aren't you up getting ready for church? Because I ain't going. Ooh, <laughs> you fucked up now! That's Ooh. why. Because I don't feel like going. Oh, this is like a whole skit on how we should go to church? This is like when Homer doesn't go to church. Didn't you hear what I said? Hey, hey, oh, hey, 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 Carl. What is your problem? Man, just getting up going to church every Sunday ain't getting me nowhere. Ooh. Listen. I think it's time I start making plans for my future. <gasps> your future? Carl, what kind of future you gonna have without the Lord in your life, boy? Mm -hmm. Listen, it's getting late. Can we talk about this when we get back? For what? Baby, he's getting off of this couch right now. He's going to church. This dad is the best the actor we've seen in this we entire time. Yeah, he's going for it, He's dude. great. He's going for it. Okay, okay. Carl, stay here till we get back. Then we'll talk about it. You hear me? Come on, look. He's covering his head up. He's not listening. Let's no, I don't go. care if he ain't listening. I'm not going to put up with him laying around here and not going to church. He's good. <laughs> He's got all these trophies. Ah, yeah, he's, he's this is my life, man. I make my own decisions. I know the Lord died for me. Well, we all know that you're saved, Carl. What do we jump cut to? But you can't Have you ever seen The Wire? Ice? Yeah. This is almost as good as The Wire. Mm. I've heard it's good, yeah. Same thing she mentioned last night at the party. Do something. So what, you still mad from the party? This has nothing to do with the party, Carl. It's about being a testimony to the Lord. And that's what you need to do. Forget all that. If you want to stay with your little friends. It's so weird how much like church VHS stuff there Whoa. is. Well, there's like a fight in here. What happens? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. You should stay in church. Man, I can handle this. Bow, 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 bow. Yeah, this is just like the wire. Should have went to church. Whoa. Oh no, I should have went to church. Oh no, the Lord. Apple pie and baseball. Damn, he should have went to church. Oh, he got put in the ground. Messed dude. with the wrong crowd. Should have went. Should have went to church, dude. Apple pie and baseball. Wait, we missed this one. Do you have any weapons on you? <laughs> How did this one get through? There's gonna be a bunch of dudes who got like guns in their crotch. Shout! methods for women, yeah. men, and large men. <laughs> Wait, what? And large men. And large men. Bang! <laughs> Go worry, I got him. Stop, you do her. I'm Lenny McGill. And as I stand before you. Chat, how many guns does this guy have on him? Over under? How many guns is on this guy's person right now? Is there a Goro bet? Do <laughs> I have on or about my person concealed 11 different... 11 guns. People Why said would you four. need 11 guns? People said four different handguns. Now, this is by no means a record, as John Bianchi has on record 32 different handguns concealed on his person. You don't want to know where my Derringer is. I'd, okay, <laughs> the guy's 32 guns on him. I'd be like, bro, don't sit down too fast. Don't sneeze. Don't get up too fast. Don't sneeze. One of those is going to go off. Oh! But the purpose of what I'm trying to do is to stimulate. Damn, it didn't look like he's got stimulate any. your mind. Oh, shit, Oh, yeah, he's over. Oh, yeah, he's got it. So that you can start to think how it would be best for you to carry a gun. American First, here's boy. a uh, Smith & Wesson 357 Magnum Jesus. underneath the arm. No holster required. Next item I'm going to get is a Glock. A uh, Glock. Full-size gun. I'm an American Back here in a small boy. in the back is a... Where are you allowed to do this, dude? Sig, Florida. 11? Guns coming out of my... So many guns coming out. I forgot with this one. Oh, this best, one. Uh, Beretta. Oh, jeez. A little... The 25. One goes right next to your here dick and I balls. Have... <laughs> wait, 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 he has to open up Belly his Belly band. He has to open up his chest. <laughs> Back inside here, I have... You gotta undo a button to get to that. Pull that book out. Oh, his book! book. <laughs> Sit at the park, just catching up on my reading. 
Am I reading here? Hmm, let me see. Let's let's a Sigma? Check this out. So as you can see, there are many different ways to carry a handgun, and Jeez. that's what this program's all about. In fact, we're going I'm to show sure the large man. Body is lots more. Everybody's body is different. Everybody has. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> Uh -oh. I don't know where this gun's gonna uh, go. Uh -oh. <laughs> hold on. I don't know if we can show uh, this. I don't know if we can show this one. Hold on. Hold on, hold on. Let me turn it off real quick. I don't know. Oh, I don't is he gonna pull his magnum Isn't out? Body style. <laughs> 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 what is happening, man? Everybody's body is whips it out from his dick and balls. Check it out. Every Underbelly. Has Are you ready? It's a different body <laughs> style. Sh you got to noon work with your yourself and you. Flop. <laughs> oh. Apple pie in baseball. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <Not a Pujo. laughs> yeah why is his face orange? Mashed <laughs> potatoes in iced tea. <laughs> you gotta take your time. Take this your time. Not be something you're gonna learn overnight. It's gonna take. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. He does it. Boom, you're dead. You thought it was gonna be cool, but you're you always dead. always wanna start practicing with an unloaded gun. Now, let oh me go ahead God. and put my jacket on. The gun in the pants. All right. This is that cool. always. <laughs> Look at this shot. That's always terrified yeah. me. Yeah. In movies and shows where they just put it right there, yeah. it's like cock gun. Called your Mexican carry, and I'm not using that in a uh, a bad way whatsoever. It's just I that's the terminology did. that was given many many years ago. It's an old. Oh, what the hell, so, yeah, man? This he is, can't uh, just kind of an interesting carry method. Rubber bands. Oh, no Rubber shot. Bands. No, no, not no. Pretty. Not pretty. But effective. Rubber bands? That's gonna come off, and you're gonna be like, "Oh, jeez." Well, he's like going to like Starbucks to get his wallet out. His fucking six shooter's gonna fall out. <laughs> Two flimsy rubber bands. <laughs> not pretty, but not pretty. <laughs> Look at this rubber band method. This guy's serious, man. And it's pointed right at his heart. <laughs> right at his artery. <laughs> Towards his heart. <laughs> But it's so you scotch tape. <laughs> Apple pie and baseball. Rubber bands. <laughs> Not pretty. Look at how shitty it is. Oh, dude. No. It's already coming off. But effective. It just came off as soon as you put that back on. It's pointed right at him. <laughs> oh, my God. Good God, oh, man. No. But effective. Just drop the gun. But yeah, but this is my Nintendo power. Gun in. It's a taco. <laughs> it's a, a Nintendo, sandwich. Nintendo power taco. Put this uh, six How's foot, six inch hot dog. How's that? Never know you have it. What? Sometimes, of course. Bang! Through the pocket. Oh my god! You can just carry a small handgun in your pocket, and if need be, fire right through the pocket. I'm Lenny McGill. This has been Concealed Carry: Tips, Techniques, and Secrets of the Pros. <laughs> Where is it? Surprise! <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't, oh don't shoot. Jeez. Oh what the hell? And large men. <laughs> She's large men. Take that, you bastard. Please. Don't talk to my wife. Please. <laughs> Oh, we can't That's miss That's a any. real thing, man. Image is everything. Whoa! What is this? That was amazing. Hello, I'm Ginger Heath, chairman of Beauty Ginger Control Heat? Cosmetics. And I want to congratulate you on having been color analyzed. Ginger Heath is a nationally recognized expert on the subjects of image, fashion, and cosmetics. Glamour Magazine named her one of the top 10 young businesswomen for 1989. And Savvy Magazine named her in the Savvy 60 listing of the top businesswomen in America. Styling, styling, styling. American style. And of course, every woman can look great, regardless of her age, regardless of her weight, and regardless of her what best. What the hell is A types this, like Susan carry most of their weight above the waist with a flat rear and very slender legs. Best doesn't flatter Sandy's G type figure, even though they weigh the same and wear the same size. Look at that. They weigh the same but look so different in different fat. G types? G type body. Eyes. Processed hair from bleaching in too many perms. Oh. 
fried her hair. Yeah, I could tell. She murdered her hair. She needs like a, a crow's flat nest. Flat rear. To trim the damaged hair, condition weekly and stop perming. Stop perming. We got another permer over here. Old fashioned police. Nice. Stop, dude. Uh-oh. Hair like that needs to be taken to Betty Ford's for chemical. Damn, they're oh, calling people out. Jesus Christ. Yo, they're at the fucking mall just going, yo, your hair is fucking dead. Fry. Your G type body wearing A type outfit. You got to get out of oh, here. Oh, yuck. Here's a, here's a fee. See, now we're going to talk about one of the most fun accessories, but also the most confusing accessories. Shoulder pads, of course, make it nice. look that much better. Hats. When to wear them and how to wear them. <laughs> Never. Oh, not now. Oh. <laughs> God. Oh, it looks terrible. I don't know. It looks like a boat. Oh. <laughs> Like she looks boat. so confused. <laughs> Is it working on my G-type head? <laughs> You're an A-type for sure. Eisenberg. Whoa. Nice. That one's epic, dude. Like Zorro. Yeah, you throw it at somebody. It hurt. It looks like uh, Kung Lao. <laughs> yeah. Love the awkward look around, like looking at people's reactions. Wee, like, wee, yeah? Wee. yeah? 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 What the hell is that? Leggings worn with an oversized t-shirt are a nice alternative to jeans. Just be sure that your top covers your rear end. Whoa. Once you know your color season, your body type, and your fashion personality, oh. it will change the way you dress wow. and shop and even the way you look at yourself. I'm Johnson. I'm Farabee. And we're your worst nightmare. We're the Image Police. Image Police. Whoa, I want to be uh, frisked by the Image Police. <laughs> Frisk me down. Am I being detained, my lady? It images everything. Yes, I'm a model. Gorduke, same with the 29 Prime. Thank you so much for using that primer, dude. Becoming. We missed this one. Beautiful. Nice. What? If your dreams to become a model or simply oh, it's look like, like how it, to be a model, let becoming beautiful be your guide. Nice. Let us help you develop the beauty, poise, and self-confidence you need to reach your goals. Whether you're in school, in a career, or at home, let's form a nice long waistline. Sock and tuck. Sock Keep and sucking tuck. and tucking until it's down to one half to one inch. Remember to suck and tuck. Can't do that. And feminine. Natural. <laughs> Saunter forward. Lurch forward. Lean forward a little bit. Suck and tuck. Stop your VCR here okay. and practice getting in and out of a chair. Oh, jeez. I don't want to get up, dude. That's good enough. I got out of it. Try to smooth all the movements into one continuous flowing movement. Stupid. Uh, stupid? Entering a room. You're stupid. Putting on a coat. Put on a coat? Big That's how you put it on, huh? Oh. Stupid. There you go, stupid. Put that coat on. She needs help with the buttons. She's kind of having a hard time. Maybe she do one button at a time. Someone want to help her? Damn, she's multitasking on the buttons. Expertly done. Yup. And then the talk. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Go get your coat and practice. Oh, my God. They want you the to practice to that? is presenting an outward appearance that says, I'm confident, intelligent, and I love life. So, practice, practice, practice. Once you mastered visual poise basics, you'll be ready to move on to Kathleen's advanced courses. I'm John. Have a great Is day. That like the and couch? let your body show it. Let your body show it. James Bond outro. I huh. love life. Wow, what the dude. fuck was that? Can't skip any of these. You never know these what we're gonna get. These are kind of golden, man. <clears throat> Unless they're like obviously like a music copyright nightmare, or the religious ones have been kind of fucking weird. The nineties sexuality in the church. Wow.
the uh, 90s. Wow. Is this the end? Oh, is this going to be like a Y2K thing? Uh, I think it's going to be like 90s parents afraid of MTV type stuff. Whoa. I'm sure that he has been hours <laughs> memorizing and studying the Word of God in the last has been easily let me hear that gasp let me hear that gasp again i'm sure that he has yep. spent easily seventy thousand hours memorizing and studying the word of god in the last 42 years but i think his special love is the subject of the return of christ oh this Jack? is going to be a y2k i'm not looking for the undertaker but for the upper taker some christians have their caskets picked out color size shape bless your heart if it thrills you to go casket <laughs> hunting, go ahead. But I'm looking for something better than the ankle won't connect to the head. Won't be patient. I'll soon have that on record. <laughs> and now on your screen, you will notice the cover of a book that we got from France. It's entitled Actual Values, the Enormous Socialistic Growth in Europe. And if you will notice in the middle of the cover, the beast that has seven heads. Certainly, This is strange, man. Yeah, man, the televangelists really grasp at straws, man. Satan, the Hydra? Hell, Hydra. God must have laid it upon the heart. It's a cartoon, the lady. Are you afraid of a fucking hentai? Target date, 1990. Whoa, that one's weird as fuck. I don't know. TV thing. table scraps? This looks tight. From Tulsa 23, this is News Check. News Check. Tulsa's always had the best news. Good evening in the news at 5 o'clock. The first couple takes on the drug problem. Oh, that outfit, huh? That is Garbage a... bag. <laughs> They'll talk to the or nation in a camo. nationally broadcast speech tonight at 7. The topic, their views on drug abuse and its prevention. In Moscow, American journalist Nicholas Danilov held a news Whoa. conference at the U.S. Embassy and again denied Soviet allegations that he's a spy. Danilov <laughs> also said he was subject to the equivalent of mental torture. <laughs> what the oh my fuck God. is this, dude? Whoa. Is this random? It's random TV from... Uh, from... Has not gone Tulsa. out of style. Bill Bellamy's booty call! Booty call! Ha <laughs> 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 ha! Whoa! What is, who is this guy? Never been married. He's available. Mark. Oh, hi, Mark. 26. Why does he look like he's like 40? Yeah, I know. It makes me wonder. I swear back then people had like, men had like man face. It was like, in like it is now we're 30. We're in our 30s. We're American so. boys. I look at 30 year olds. I'm like, yeah. But like back then a 30 year old looked like a 50 year old. He man. looks like uh, Kevin Sorbo. I'm 26. Flat stomachs, for one thing, are just a major turn on for me. I love to have a flat, hard stomach, you know. Breasts, you know, size doesn't really matter that much, but as long as I have a nice, flat stomach, it works out. Some scientists it claim works. the billion dollar diet industry has victimized 70 million overweight Americans. Men, women, what's the difference? Men need to go out, hang with the boys, get plastered. Flirt with women, and just just so they know that they're still attractive to other women. As long as they come home to me, I'm okay with that. So you say you're talking about someone who you're dating. Men. Oh my God! This uh, first of all, I want to say I respect all this women. I think women are are beautiful and strong. This and, guy's um, shirt. Oh my God. Um. You have it a little easier than women. <laughs> I don't think so. Are you? Like I think so. <laughs> I think the shirt says it all. Men have it easier. I think so. <laughs> Fucking what? <laughs> Jesus, what a shirt. About to go out? Not Yikes. unless he yeah. approves it. That's not real. But it took eight years for him to train me before he would marry uh, me. I train would, me? I would love to be able to watch these old Springery shows. Oh, Jenny on Jones, dude. Oh, my God. Can you imagine watching that? Is there a Jenny that? Jones archive somewhere? Can you imagine watching that with Twitch? Oh. Holy shit. It would be so funny. What is a woman's job to you? Jenny Jones? Yeah. She was before uh, Springer? Kind of um, different vibe. It's it, kind of the same thing. She was like a poet. Like, like they all kind of did the same thing. Same thing. But her main thing, like, uh, like Maury was like the father thing. You're not the father. Mm. She would have like the super slutty chicks that dressed like like strippers. Mm -hmm. And that's like their, 
they dress like that every day and they get confronted by their family. Mm. So they have the ch- super fake booby girls got, I do whatever I want. And the family's like, we're ashamed of her. We can't have her at Thanksgiving <laughs> anymore. <laughs> Anything I tell her to do. How are you women raised? Get a I, backbone. A lot of people haven't found their purpose on earth and I finally did and it's to serve my man. Uh, to yeah, serve her man. Oh, and they the, fucking animated their shit too. Like a cave man. woman on the next Jenny Jones. Oh, and, and also female bonding is important. Girls night out is just as important. Yeah, yeah. yeah girls night out. With guys, when they play along with the, the commitment bit to get the sex, and the women play along with the sex bit to get the commitment. How f- well, yeah. What a fucking douche. Just guys talking to girls, girls talking to guys. Guys do this whole, like, commitment thing to, like, get that. You know what I'm Far would you go to attract the opposite? Hey, attract the opposite. The softer sex. way to blow. What guy wants to try on high heels? Oh, I do. This fun's for you. A rich heritage and tradition that spans generations. And preserving all of this <laughs> is the end. So let's take care of each other. Peace. Chuck D. All right. Chuck D. This is weird. This is a weird, like, super com- uh, compilation. Live it or rest in it. And I'm mad. What the fuck? What was XTV? I don't know, man. Photos, and now when you're on Prodigy. Okay, now click on the icon. That says word. Danza, hey, sh- Tony Danza's show. Tony Danza's show. Hey, Tony. Oh, 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 oh. Let's get out of there. There's some sexy stuff going on. Country or what? New York City. Oh, the yeah, El Paso. It's a city for fun, but that's no surprise, or is it? We've got home runs, pretty sons, music park tears, buzzers, bears, and other scary critters. I battled Yo, sharks. Oklahoma sounds I sick. I turned into a bird and I was flying. Oh my god, yeah. is that a commercial Echo. for Echo the Dolphin game? Yeah. Oh, this game is so fucking gross and lame. So I survived it all. It's a vibe, though. To save the oceans from an evil alien. Oh god, I remember we had it some, for some reason. We had it. Yeah, I don't know why this game was so popular. It's like we'd beat Sonic over and over and over and beat our other games and go, oh, you guys want to put an Echo? Maybe it'll be fun this time. <laughs> and then you mm. put it in and go, oh, it sucks. Yeah, Louie loves it. In power, it was good. Hi! Huh? Oh, he's not dead. He was just sleeping. Oh, man. Get me out of here! New Echo. New the Echo. Time. There it is, dude. Echo. Terrible. Time. <laughs> Sega Genesis. I like Spike TV. <laughs> there you go. I just want to see what Kelsey was going to say. You think Kelsey Grammer's ever watched Spike TV? Die, bye, die. He's a cool voice. Oh, he's a great actor, too. I love him as a uh, sideshow. The grammar. Yo, Papa Barely, what up, dude? Die, bye. Uh, where do we leave off here? Anything else? A balloon fiesta? <laughs> Albuquerque's International <laughs> Balloon Fiesta. Fiesta. <laughs> Yo, it's Balloon Town, baby. Oh, dude, those Good people one. who are sexually attracted to balloons. Oh, oh, oh. This is where they meet oh, up. Oh, yeah. When there were before there were forums online. Oh, you go to Albuquerque. Albuquerque Welcome to the 21st Kodak Albuquerque International Balloon Fiesta. It turns out to be a perfect day for ballooning. The <laughs> perfect day. <laughs> well, would you look at that, folks? It's, there's perfect weather out Carl here. Carl Sagan here to tell us about the weather. We have perfect weather for balloons out oh, here. Well, yeah, um, some big balloons. You know, I have my notes here somewhere. <laughs> oh, God. He's struggling. Like, oh, boy, I don't know how I'm going to uh, talk about this one. I don't know much about balloons, but... Wow, that's a big Navy balloon. Kodak's Albuquerque International Balloon Fiesta. PC Tech. PC Tech. Had to pop off one time. Yo, much appreciated, man. Love you too, brother. Much love, dude. She looks so happy. Oh, it's so... I feel so bad for them. Yeah. When they're on, but they don't know. Yeah. And they just stare in the lens. This is like uh, that one time we were looking at cameos. And like, uh, who was it? Chris Tucker. Chris Tucker, yeah. He's doing a cameo, and it yeah. started, and it, it ended like that. Or it started and ended. He was like, "Yo, what's up, man? Here's your birthday. It's Chris Tucker. Happy birthday, man!" 
Oh, uh, and they're still not telling her another two seconds on the clock. Uh, oh, another second and a half. Sydney, you're hot. You're hot. Thank you're hot. Thank you. I'm really back. Looking good out here. We're right off of I-25. You're hot. If you don't know what the box is, I'm sure Tom will explain it four or five times for us during all the shows. Hey, what's weekend. with the backhand, Yo, man? Yo, they would talk shit back to each other. I'm sure he's been telling you all constantly. This fucking guy won't shut the fuck up sure about Dan's the box. Gonna, Dan's going to just fucking repeat himself like he always does. But basically, it means once the balloons leave here, they're going to go up higher and come back over. So we'll be able to see them for quite a while. Is that right, Tom? Damn. Oh. Fucker. Are you listening, Tom? Oh, fucker. Albuquerque, get it together with the broadcasting. Ugh. Oh! You hear radio? Cut away, cut away. Thanks, Tom. I want you to speak. Dr. Joyce Brothers. Hello? Hello! My grandson. I love balloons. Here's my grandson. He loves balloons. Oh! A very young Conan O'Brien. Hey! <laughs> He loves balloons, aspiring talk show host. Say something, Daniel. <laughs> and we have been, uh, this is our first time at the Balloon Fiesta. Oh, wow. And we have been just excited out of our skin. Uh, it's been described to me by Captain Fogg as the most fun you can have with your clothes on. And it really is. The most fun with your clothes on. Balloon Fiesta. Lady, you're Annual. scaring me. Annual Balloon Fiesta. Actually, I've heard it's kind of fun with your clothes off, but well, I couldn't know. Ew! The fuck, you freak? Actually, I'd love to rub my Johnson up against some of these balloons. Well, it looks uh, silk or feels like silk. It's the poly silk. They wash up just They still do this balloon fest? That's pretty awesome. But you sure don't it's a big take deal. <laughs> There's a nude one? Oh, wow. I want to go to the nude Albuquerque Fiesta for balloons. And leave them in a restaurant. <laughs> that, uh, that's right. Uh, audio. Navi, thank you, dude. Oh, jacket. Sour, thank you, dude. What's your name? Norp. 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 Oh, look, he's got the enamels for each year. Nice. They had it. On it, sir, from Wisconsin. From Wisconsin. Is this your first balloon fiesta? No, this is the third. The third. No, this is and third. Where did you get that hat? Right here on the field three years ago, and they haven't had them since. Damn. Oh. Warm McKay. Name's Norb. Yep, Norb. Three years in a row, Wisconsin. Norb. Nice, nice hat, Norb. The hat, you brought something new this year, right? Yes. These britches are one of a kind. All right, Richard, let's pan down britches? and get a look at these. these britches? They are one of a kind. Oh, dude. Just rip. In Florida. She saw the hey, you go in the back and there's a hole. You can put a helium pump and I'll start flying. <laughs> Not really. It makes me fart. Not really. <laughs> Fit check. I just pretty fly, man. And especially and at a balloon are, festival. Yeah. Nice. When else are you going to wear these pants, yeah. you know? Dave, are you up there? Come on in and tell us uh, what you see. What do you see? Show me the balloons. Wow, Whoa! look at that. That's a lot of fun. Wow, look at that. That's a great deal of fun. Get the camera up a, a little bit more. You're losing it. Uh, um, all right. Well, there's the sky. Cut away. <laughs> God, it's like, look at that. It's like a lot of troubleshooting for them this year. And as you see, there's the General Mills balloon, a new cool. addition to Albuquerque with the General Mills plant opening this year. Oh, it's a lot of balloons. I didn't even realize. Holy Look at that. shit. So Yo, this actually would be dope. We should go. Dude, can we go to Albuquerque? Some... I got to go through that plant. Everybody says that's so interesting out there. They take tours through and, uh, and you know, they... sure like to have some. Is everybody here going to get a ride? <laughs> they told me they already had somebody break in. <laughs> you should do it. Don't do it. And then, Don't. Uh, uh, Don't. Smash all the cereal and so forth. Now police are looking for a serial killer. <laughs> <laughs> That's very good, Nelson. <laughs> this is Ugh. the vice president. <laughs> is that Al Gore? Serial killer. These balloons are contributing to climate. <laughs> 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 the heat from these balloons. Nice. Nice. Candidate, the Democratic vice presidential candidate, uh, Senator Al Gore, with us this morning. That Senator Gore. Nice. The crowd, Senator. I've really been enjoying it. It's a it's a wonderful event. This is my first time at this. It won't be the last. This is amazing. So That's just... amazing. Smokey! Oh, yeah. Smoke him if he got him in the oh, house. Me, Roger. How... Man bear pig is real. Oh, hey, it's a man bear you? pig. Oh, my God. It's like I said it's man bear pig. <laughs> on the fundraiser. We made about a quarter of the cost of buying the envelope. I'm going to try to stay away from that damn Al Gore. He keeps going after Smokey well, here. He keeps grabbing uh, about him. He's balling up his fist and chasing after him. 45, uh, uh, the cost is about $45,000, and we've got about $12,000. 
uh, in, in our account. And uh, we still have a ways to go. That's not a lot of money, man. Me and Smoke here, we're trying to raise funds. <laughs> we don't have much money, but we're trying our hardest. <laughs> That's so weird. And uh, okay, we're man. not even close. I got a <laughs> thousand two hundred in my name. Listen, you're back. Uh, I don't know if we're on the air or not here. It's hard yes. to tell. <laughs> <laughs> this is awesome. You can't tell if we're on the air. <laughs> and uh, that's it for the uh, balloon fiesta. It looks like a shit show at that fiesta. Fuck. <laughs> Struggling. Just putzing around. Oh, this is awesome. Thanks yeah. guys for joining us. This, this has been so a, much fun. I wanted to take a chance on this kind of stream, just doing randoms. And if you know any like podcast, channels but... like this, put it in the Discord because uh, I mean, you guys find the, the awesome stuff. Mr. So we decided to swing. Right? I don't know. Teen sexuality in the church. I don't know. Satanic stuff? No. Make America innate, innate? again? Innate? Innate again? Innate? A commercial. What? Having a laugh with the gals. That's more uh, Mary Kay bullshit. Oh, it is? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 100%. The gals? Crystal light aerobic workout. Nice. Tapping to a brand new beat. Oh, jeez. I don't know. Let's Hot see chicken tonight. fry for one second. If it's weird, <laughs> then we're out. Okay, okay um, now we're out. We're out. Okay, okay, we're out. Okay, we're out. Okay, we're let's out. on to the next one. And um, let's see what this one's all about. Make America innate <laughs> again. Okay, I don't know about this guy. He's going yeah, to uh, do some crazy uh, stand-up. Every time I, I, I see if we're doing retro stuff and a stand-up from, like, the 90s comes up, I'm like, get away. Not, not my bag, get away. baby. Not. Get away. So we decided to swing. Hot time tonight. That looks hot. Sex, six, it's your decision. 6K Whoa. views. This is a big one for the channel right, here. Hot time. hot time tonight. It doesn't look like it's his hands in the thumbnail. Too fat for heaven? I, I don't okay, know. Let's do that know. one. Let's do that I one. I don't know, man. Let's do that one after this. And of all the subjects which are the most difficult to talk about in a mixed audience, this is it. We're going to talk about sex. Will you give me permission as a man, as a fellow human being, to talk about something that's very private? What do you have to sense? say? Depends what he's gonna Where say. You, uh, why did the preface it like that? It makes you say you're gonna say something very weird. No diagrams either, right? Okay. All right, Donahue. It's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. Sex is good. Man, am I right? Come on, am I right or not? Come on, man, am I right or not? You These men in this crowd. <laughs> They're used to a certain type of sex. The men in this crowd. I don't know. They're not. They don't even want to respond. <laughs> a lot of like, <laughs> sex is great, right, fellas? The whole chat just. Uh... <laughs> it's a weird crowd. Come on, guys. What is going on, ladies? Am I right? Man, am I right or not? You bet I'm right. Let her breasts satisfy you. At <laughs> did, that, did, that, did that lady laugh right there? At... Yes, yeah, guys. <laughs> Let her breasts satisfy you. Oh my God! You. For a hot second. Oh my God! For the I hottest see it, I see second. It. I see it too. For the hottest <laughs> second, I thought there was a titty. If you see it, you see you it. You think someone was just like, <laughs> I'm just gonna let these out while we talk about them. At all times. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah, let them satisfy. That's the face you. right there. All the time. Whoa. Yeah. Yeah. Let them. Oh, oh what's Grandma doing? <gasps> Velma. Jinkies. Satisfy you. <laughs> what happens if she doesn't want to? Uh oh. Because her body is tired. Uh oh. And mine isn't. Uh oh. What? And mine isn't. What no means no. Do? No means no, by the way. Answer. She has no right to her body. Uh, this guy, is this guy in jail? Whoa, this guy, whoa. this is another guy in jail? No! Ow! And the crowd's like, okay, now we know why the crowd's not making any noises. Oh my god. 
They don't trust this guy. This is a bad man. I have one, we have one couple friends that the lady will put a candle on the nightstand. And that's how you know. What? Stranger danger. Why not just talk to the person? Stranger danger. Do these people not talk about their sex lives with each other? So you decided to swing. <laughs> yeah. DMC. Can I just see the dancing? I saw your man China about it. Right. Saw your man China? <laughs> too fat for heaven. <laughs> what is too fat for heaven? Boom. 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 Run, run. Moon moon, moon moon, moon moon, Tony. What? What are you doing with that book? I am reading, girl. <laughs> moon me. But Tony, what? I can't read. Yes, I can. Can't you hear me? I don't know. There's something about being I don't fat know on this about one. all this. I don't know. This one's <laughs> a little strange, this huh? This is a. Uh... Kind of weird, man. Puppets back then, too, could be weird if it's not like animal puppets, you know? <sighs> it's not animal. It ain't Sesame Street, that's for sure. Kind of sus. It ain't Sesame Street. Hey, uh, Sesame Street's still popping off today. Not these guys. Mm hmm. Friends, gotta have them. I like that. How many of us have them? Friends. Friends! Relationships with friends. You laugh. Yo, look who it is. Ryan Barry. My boy BB coming Barry in. Barry boy. Women are complicated. Am I right, fellas? Together, you do homework together. You go everywhere together. In short, what would you do without them? They're your friends. You got to have friends. I mean, friends are important. Um, I don't think I have one. Oh my god. Oh man. That was sad. Hit him with the sag one time. I don't think I have on it. Um, I don't think I have one. Dude, we could be friends, man. Yo, you're uh, we can hang out, Hit dude. Hit me up, dude. We'll play some Overwatch, dude. Come on, man. Are you uh you uh you uh, you a Zenyatta main or um uh... No, I just like to spectate Overwatch. Oh, you just what uh, you just sit there and watch and you listen to the comms. No, I'm more of a paladins player oh you're a big <laughs> smite player oh yeah, i like paladin yeah oh i don't kinda know any of the characters you gotta, <laughs> gotta make it hard to be friends i'm trying so hard uh, is there anything more relatable you like realize that you are the key at making new friends looking at them playing outside from the window on the stairs now i know that may sound too trite but there are many teenagers that complain that no one ever talks to them. And yet that same teenager never talks to <laughs> Taking notes, Kenny. God damn it. Either. I have a really bad learning disability. It's, it's really hard for me to learn. And it's in class, and I'd sit there, and I, I'd get these really low grades, and I wouldn't do good. And then people would laugh at me sometimes. Damn. <laughs> Fucked up. People are fucked oh up, my man. God, that's so fucked. Of all like the fucked up, stupid bullying I've ever seen, no one ever went in on someone's grade. Wait, 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 wait. You got a D minus in that's Spanish? Oh, Jesus, oh man. wow. Fuck. Como estas, idiot? Most of us cannot think of the right things to say instantly. We may have to plan ahead. There's nothing wrong with thinking through your conversation even before it takes place. Keep an eye Whoa. out for someone with oh, a common... Oh, yeah, playing kickball. Yo, Hell yeah. Killer. ...interest. Anything from bike riding, shopping, music, shopping. fishing, ice skating, cooking, sports, drugs, <laughs> alcohol, early sexual activity, Whoa. lying, Ew. and cheating. Locate I don't like the way he licked his lips after that one. Ew, I don't like the way early he said Early sexual that. activity, lying, and... <laughs> And cheating. Sus. Locate a private place where you and your friend can talk. Second, begin. Damn. 
I really want to talk about something super serious that's going on in my family. Could you please get off the I spring? I can't hear you. I'm, you. I'm really jamming I'm, this thing. I want you to really hear me out here. I'm really going through some things. Yeah, go ahead. I, I could really use a friend right now. These things are fucking terrifying, by the way. I remember uh, me and my friends were fucking around with one of these, and my friend was really rocking it, right? <sighs> like forward and back. <sighs> and so far, he, he flipped back and landed on his back. And that thing comes back and oh, swings and it hit him fuck. in the knee. Fuck those things, dude. Begin by telling them. Yeah, go ahead. Tell me all about your problems. And how much their <laughs> friendship means to you. There is nothing wrong to belonging to a click. Oh, click. this was the worst, man. Clicks, dude. <sighs> when, I, when I was going to junior high in Seattle, there was like, there was the preps and then there was the new wavers. New oh, wave? New wave? Was that like the cure and stuff? Oh wow! Friend, his name's Doug, and uh, I, I met him in seventh grade. It was a uh, math class, and I never really talked to him before. But I saw he had he had this shirt on. It was a concert shirt from the Cars. And the jocks, <laughs> and the the druggies, you know, the so-called stoners. Oh stoners! Whoa! Oh god, and, these stoners! Uh, see, there was the, the thrashers. <laughs> Can you? <laughs> Kenny says, hey, guys, your friendship means a lot to me. And uh... <laughs> see, we're all learning something here. Kenny. Yeah. See, we all have to communicate, man. See, all the man. stoners and thrashers. That's what it's about, dude. I'm so glad, Kenny, we're friends. You're like our new wave homie. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever that means. <laughs> what the fuck does that mean? Th oh, we're thrasher buds. Dude. Yeah, we're like thrashers. Fucking thrash. Kenny likes to throw. I've seen Kenny wiggle those hair, that yeah. hair around it. 21. 21. Whether you I'm a thrasher. <laughs> Slayer. Yep. Ow, oh, dude. That neck. Whether you are in a clique which excludes others or you are fighting to get into an exclusive group, there are people. What nah, happened? man. Sorry, bro. We can't hang out, Click's man. closed. Can't. No. no more applicants. Full dude. house, dude. No way. No, no new waivers. We're thrashers through and through. Can't have any yeah. punks. Try the anime, guys. They're Sorry. they're the new wave anime. Keep going. People around that you may be passing up as friends. So clicks are okay, unless they begin to hurt others, or unless they begin to limit your friendships. Mm. Your mm. friendships. Hey guys, I invited this new dude. He seemed pretty cool into our click. Bringing him in. Met him on a seesaw. Begin by telling him. <laughs> on a hobby horse. So rude to be on a horse. So rude to be on a spring horse while your your friend's trying to really talk to you. Are gangs cool? Like VOD gang? VOD gang's cool. Oh, gangs are cool, dude. Yeah. Gang shit, dude. Hell yeah. Unless it hurts somebody else. True. Gangs are cool till they hurt somebody. See, let's pick one more, huh? What do you what do you say? One more. Gotta get a good one. Tapping to a brand new beat. Workshopping. Oh, it's another multi-level marketing. You're in a universal healthcare by the year 2000. Nice. Uh, to uh, Christmas. The Powerhouse Club. Um. The perfect product. perfect product. Is it gonna be perfect though? What is it? that can make you $5,000 a month in six months' time with $100 one time out of your pocket. Well, you only have to sign up two people to qualify to receive commission checks. Oh, this Would is a multi-level. Oh, God. Time to hear about it. Now, let me just say this. I don't know if you know Does what this it's guy like look trustworthy? going to the mailbox and receiving commission checks in the mail. But let Looks me like that leaked art of Ken. <laughs> Street Fighter VI. Yeah, divorce court Ken. Hey, what it's like. I say, uh, uh, honey, let me go check the mail. She says, oh, that's okay, I'll check the mail. I said, no, no, let me get check the mail. She goes, that's okay, I'll check the mail. Let me check the mail. <laughs> oh, God, this is going to be a weird, oh, super weird multi-level marketing thing. Prepaid plastic. Oh, no. If it continues to grow, you're going to receive cards. Whoa, he's like a mob boss. Eight going on nine months now, and I have over 21. How many guns is this guy concealed carrying? Ooh, 100 people in my group. I'm making over $7,000 this month. 
I was introduced to this program by a wonderful he lady named Elise He is reading Hall. the script. She basically told me to get in this. Cost $100, get in now. I did. It's the best $100 I ever spent in my life. This dude's a plant! <laughs> I don't want I don't want what he's selling. Men only care Okay. Um Universal Health Care by the year two thousand. Yes, I love it. Yeah. I love it. What do you say to the doctor that says I trained for this for a long time, I got sick people, I can't go out and do something. Well, else. I think everybody has to make that kind of decision for themselves. Everybody's ethical feelings about this. Oh, it's Howard Dean. The what I would say is if you really want to help oh, sick people, we're going to go to the National Health we're going to go there. We're dealing with the people that are getting in inadequate health care. That, certainly, that's a lot more people than is the going to pop off on here. office could ever I was going to say a bunch of dumb shit. Listen today, absolutely too many. 50% of Medicare dollars are spent on 9% of the patients uh, in the ICU. Only half of those ever get out alive. <laughs> Uh, in that population. So oh, we're as funny as I thought it would be. It's just Howard Dean Rainbow. <laughs> take care of Trying to be informative about the universal health care. Actually take care of patients. Uh, I have Howard nothing Dean. to do with planning our health care delivery just system. Just a little prick. He's smoking his finger. <laughs> what, is he, what procedure is that? It's nuts. Ow. What are they? Oh, they're, they're like getting a wart. Burning a wart off of him. <laughs> Ow. Ow. <laughs> You guys want to see what is it hobo is Spanish for? It's puppets, though. I have power club, powerhouse club, though. Where's powerhouse club? Right next to health. Oh my god. What is this? So far, so good. It's a lot of power. Powerhouse club. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Where Jesus Christ is born? I, In the powerhouse I, club? I, I, okay. Nice. What? Jesus Christ Ooh. is Lord. Oh, it's like a boys and girls club. Oh my god. That is not that is not Christian. Whoa. Oh, hi. I'm glad you're here. Welcome to the Powerhouse Club. This is a pot of uh, here. mashed potatoes. <laughs> Just any moment. That's gotta be them. What's the password? Jesus loves me! That's it. Come on, game. <laughs> yes, right. Hey, yeah. you're looking good. Well, you know, we all have tough decisions to make sometimes. Uh, any of you guys ever had tough decisions? I've, had, I've been invited to a rock and roll concert by a real good friend of mine. I really like her, but I don't know what I should do. Yeah, that's kind of tough. Rock and roll really concert. Easy. Well, I've been asked to be on an all-star baseball team. I'm really excited about it, but all our games are on Sunday mornings. I don't know what to do. Isaac had two sons, one son named Jacob. Yeah. And one son <laughs> named Esau. What did Esau? Esau, Esau! Yeah. <laughs> kind of got a ring to it, don't it? He's they only think about God when they get in trouble, or they only think about praying when uh, they're getting ready to go to bed. Or <laughs> oh, my God. This is so weird. Pickles. Hey, mind if I come in? Yes, hey, I do. Mr. John. Please save us. <laughs> Starns. All right. Hot diggity dog, man. He's not the favorite singer. Yeah. Here we go. Feed my sheep back. Oh. Okay. Oh. We get one more, one more non-church oh. one, one more non-church, non-church. I'm a jammer, a jammer, jammer. Carl, Cal's decision, cool place to be. Oh, you asked for it. Sound all good. I'm a jammer. Whoa. <laughs> Right? I'm always like this. 
and going, woo! I'm a go head and I do what I want. These people are having the best time of their life, I can guarantee so you So what are we doing? I just want you guys to go out there and have a lot of fun. Have fun. It'll be a VHS tape. People could rent at the store, the video store. Uh, as, uh, the lead singer's been uh, on a good one today. I'm a and jammer. <laughs> he's been jamming a bunch of coke up his nose, I'll tell you that much place to be 6k views that one went big hey Danny strange dog you've got there what? Bernie's not strange he's a Saint Bernard well you better tell Bernie that he better not play any more tricks on the green monsters or we might just have to pay him a little visit next Sunday while you're at church yeah what? Mr. Goody Two Shoes I'm not a Goody Two Shoes I have to go to church with my parents church don't you know that church is uncool? Whoa. Dude, he's straight up like Nelson from The Simpsons. Holy shit! <laughs> Life is passing you by while you're sitting there listening to a preacher. Nobody likes Goody Two Shoes. Oh, the green. Green monsters. Green bullies. And nobody likes you. Bloods, Crips, Green Monsters. What's the matter, Danny? Don't want to get fucked What's up matter, by Danny? Green Monsters. <laughs> you too chicken to go tell your old man that you don't want to go to church? Don't call me a chicken. Whoa. What are you going to do? A Bernie attack me. Oh, you baby oh. can jog and kill. Yeah, sick him. Oh, I'm so afraid of the Bernie Bernie the St. Bernard. Come on, Nick. These goody two shoes are making me sick. Oh, they're so nice. Uh oh. What do you think you're doing? Well, well. Look who it is. How can we not <laughs> trust like all the other little goody two shoes? I stay at home to make sure you didn't hurt Bernie. A boy and his dog. Ain't that special. It just so happens, I got a treat for your dog. Oh my no! god! No, are we gonna watch a... No, we're not watching that happen. Oh my god! What we are this? not... These like, bad boys! We are not... Go to no. church, okay. you fucking animals! Okay. The green monsters are way worse They're than bad I thought. They're bad people. Way bad worse than people. I thought. Let me look ahead. I just want to make sure nothing happens here. To the dog. Oh, thank God. Oh, <laughs> my God. Okay. Oh, thank God. I couldn't in, I couldn't send that out. In thank the you, inter. Lord. I couldn't rebroadcast that. Gift. That would have been awful. For your dog. No! God came in, dude. <gasps> God came in clutch, man. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hey, what is this? What happened? Where's my bet? Let's get out of here, Adam. Stay calm, Nick. This is just another. I've had Jesus interfere. <laughs> I've had, Jesus I've had a divine interference times. once or twice in my life. You just gotta keep pressing on. Eventually, <laughs> gives up because he's got a whole bunch of other miracles to do. You really gotta test their faith. Trip. Okay, Danny, spill it. Oh my! Rusty <laughs> <laughs> screwdriver in the eye. <laughs> Shit on my dick and <laughs> blood on my screwdriver. You decide. You choose. <laughs> Come on, Jesus. Now watch this. What is this? Nothing, but thanks. Cool. Good dog. Oh. What's going on here? What does it say? Church is the cool place to be. <laughs> I want what this. What the fuck did you do with my shirt? You motherfucker! You got rid of my Green Monster shirt! <laughs> Church is the cool place to be. <laughs> oh my no. god, dude. It's so good. Yeah, I want to put this on our merch store. Yeah. I want to put this on our merch store. I'm going to find a font just like that. It I'm says Adam it and Nick. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, oh. Dang. 
<laughs> yeah, dude, I'll put that one up. That one's good. Yo, thank you, Lord. PC Tech. Mm. Church, Church is the cool, is cool place Daniel. to be. The base Looks line. like a message to all of us. That we broke them when I think commandments. Remember the Sabbath day and keep it holy. Keep it holy. I don't believe this. His hair, their hair's back. They got all the green nice. gone. Let's get out of here, Adam. Stay calm, Nick. I want to get to the bottom of this. So keep your shirt on. My shirt's gone. What? Okay, Danny. What, what's going on here? Uh, what kind of dog is that? It's the St. Bernard. And if I were you, I'd take his advice about going to church. And it ends there. Moral of the story, though. Right? I would have loved to have watched that full thing. That is amazing. That one's good, dude. Wait, what? Wait a minute, what? Wait, did you just, like, Can change you do our that? shirt? She's not a saint. She's just a good old dog. She's saint. a good girl. Saints, dude. So there's plenty more where that come where that came from. Well, maybe we'll screen a few of these so we don't get any weird uh-oh moments. But, I mean, it is funny checking out these videos. You know, I, I mean, uh, we handle it taste. Oh, Strangers in Danger looks pretty sick. Oh, my God, dude. Looks good. <laughs> Whoa, it's starting off pretty heavy, This might heavy, be extreme. Though. Bad Girls Bible Club. Bad Girls Bible Club. Come on, guys. What is this? <laughs> How to get away? Wait, what? I don't know. This one's weird, man. Oh it's just showing children being abducted. Oh my God. That's a weird one. Um, Someone has a VHS of that at their that's house. That's weird. What Bad the? Girls Bible Club. Oh, no. If it's stand-up comedy, we're not watching it. What is this? At least Curtis Higgs. <laughs> Encourager. Is this Bible stand-up? Liz Curtis Higgs here, inviting you to spend the next hour with us laughing and learning about those bad girls of the Bible. Get ready for women who were bad to the bone, bad for a moment, and bad for a season, but not forever. Slay, begin queen. at the beginning in the garden. And I am convinced it was not an apple or a pomegranate hanging on that tree. No, baby. It was Godiva chocolate. I guarantee you. I oh, love chocolate. No. She's not going to deep throat. Hacky stand-up that relates to the Bible, dude. Yeah. She's going to deep throat that banana. Uh-oh. Don't eat. Don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> but it's covered in chocolate. Oh, it's good to have a chocolate. Boy, we got one juicy apple. The first word. church prop comic. Yes. Out of this woman's mouth. Come to bed with me. <clears throat> she got good faces. I left my heart in Sodom and Gomorrah. Oh boy. There she was, just walking down the street, saying it. Uh, well, what? <laughs> good cuts. I didn't have to cut partner. it. This is my significant other. Oh, look at all his hair. Ay. <laughs> well, the Bible would say, fornicator. Got him. You know, I love, I'll be perfectly honest, I'm practically at a fetish level with baby's feet. <laughs> That's a self-report on stage. All right. Well, some of these are cool and some of them oh, are... What? Not so cool. Why would you say that? What you do is sit around and ball. What do you do all day? I work hard all day. I just need a few drinks to relax. Things John says to his children. You kids think I'm made out of money. Can't you do anything right? No. <laughs> That's the way it is. <laughs> I don't want to hear anymore. As long as you're in this house, you'll do as you're told. But honey, I was trying to end it on a good note. 
Um, thank you guys for watching. Uh, you guys are the best. We'll be back tomorrow. And then don't forget Thursday, the game award. The not Thursday, the not Thursday. game award. The world premiere, world Summer premiere, world premiere, world premiere, world premiere, world premiere. Uh, Thursday will be an early stream. Don't miss It'll be it. be 11 a.m., right? Don't miss it. Something like that? I think 11 yes, a.m. Yeah. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. This was fun, though. This was fucking hilarious, If dude. you do want more, give us a follow. A follow goes a long way. Make sure you're following the channel. Oh, mashed potatoes and oh. mashed and potatoes ice. and cold ice tea. <laughs> and cold ice tea. <laughs> all right, we'll see you guys. All right, I gotta get uh, I gotta get some stuff ready for the channel. Yes. Yo, fantastic Mario coming in. Random question: Who do you think would win if all the Sith from Legends and Games versus all the Jedi uh, from Legends and Games? Uh, Jesus Christ. Sith and all Jedi, who would win? Yeah, if, if he combined all the Jedis and all the Sith Lords into one, you know, things, I guess technically the light side would win, right? Doff Maul. Vado. Doff Maul with robo legs, because he learned from his mistake to never yeah. get chopped in half ever again. Uh, the uh, fanboys would win, because they'd be the ultimate battle ever. For the, the penis head guy. Oh, yeah. That one's pretty cool, too. That guy's fucking... Or Yaddle? That guy's dope, dude. That Girl Yoda? That guy's awesome. Oh, my God. Yeah, Holy stay... Christ. Watch out for the green monsters, okay? They're bad! Do not join them, Do all not right? let them to see your dog. They're some bad boys. Remember, the church is the cool place to be, okay? Hell yeah! Don't you ever forget that. Man, it's so cool going to church. It is the coolest place. And thanks to anyone who uh, subbed or donated. Appreciate everybody. Thank you guys so much. Appreciate you guys so much, Rep dude. Butter, Peter, Pusher, Alpha, Alpha, Pickle, Cletus, Cajun, Out of Fire, Miller, Mr. Elk, Soup Steve, Thank you guys. Wasabi, Imposter. Yo, thank you guys. Booty boo. Trust boo, the big boo. patrons. They're the guys that make it possible and ladies that make it possible. Uh, you should check out uh, Lethal Weapon movie commentary. It's pretty sick. Hell yeah. Send you guys over to the Infinite Third. Why not? Let's do it. All right. It's going to be rocking it. We will be back tomorrow. Make sure you follow the channel. Baby feet fetish. What? Some of those are weird. Oh, it got bizarre. I want to go to that balloon fiesta, though, man. Oh, yeah. Albuquerque. <laughs> Albuquerque, dude.